And we are live. Damn it. I forgot about the thing. Every time. Okay, there we go. I don't forget about it every time. But when I do, god damn it. God damn it when I do. Oh, it's been such a long time. It feels like it's been an eternity. But we're back. More Ishin. All right, PS5, don't do that. You're scaring me. Oh, okay. So all all of the friendship gauges are filled and done. So all that's left is like actual side content, which is you, right? Why are you just standing here? Hey there. Hey there. Feeling lonely, pal? If you've time, coin, and inclination, this is the place for you. My body house is ripe with cuties. No thanks. Nah, buddy, please, just hear me out. This brothel's my whole life's work. <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Yes, sir. We opened only recently, so we're not well known yet, but I'm confident our services are second to none. My escorts have curves to die for, and each one soft and supple as a baby. Soft and supple? <laughs> yes, come inside and lose your worries in a bed of lovers with skin like mochi. I could take a look. Now you're getting it. Follow me to paradise, friend. <laughs> soft and supple. Right this way, friend. This place looks pretty dull for a brothel. Perhaps. But that's only because I put all my funds toward what's inside. Now come on in. This is pretty nice, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Our interior decor is the height of modern fashion. Now then. Without further ado, why don't I find you a companion for the night? Tell me, pal, which of these three is your type? Is someone diligent and tireless? Someone deft at giving pleasure? Someone with a perfect body? I mean, it's like a pleasure house, right? So someone deft at giving pleasure. <laughs> Great choice. What could be better than a partner who has mastered every in and out of the human anatomy? Every in and out. Wait right there, and I'll be right back with a hot, passionate date for you. Buddy, I'm practically jealous. Just give me a moment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. Oh. Here. The pride of our establishment. Osaki-chan. Dos koi. I am Osaki. All right, what's what's this? See, dos koi meaning large or thick. This expression comes from a popular song in sumo jinku, sumo folk music. Uh, wrestlers publicly perform these songs during special exhibitions and ceremonies. Okay, dos koi. <laughs> very very dos koi. What the hell's going on here? Hmm? 
Is there a problem? I asked for someone deft at giving pleasure. That's a sumo wrestler. Dos koi! <laughs> Sir, I've given you what you asked for. Osaki-chan fights with unparalleled technique and excels at picking apart the bodies of his opponents. And, as I told you, his skin is soft as mochi. His skin may be soft, but... But what? I never said my escorts were women, if that's what you mean. I can't believe I fell for this. I'm going. Stop right there! You still owe me- you still owe me in this beauty for our time. And what's that worth? Let me see. Ten Rio should cover things. Ten Rio? You're out of your mind! You're out of your mind. Goodbye. If you won't pay willingly, we'll take it by force. Oi! Come on out, everyone! Oh my fucking god. Let's turn this house of pleasure to a house of pain. Dos koi! I have a gun. And a sword. And this music kind of going. Hold on. Hey, chill. Oh my god. Let's see. I don't want that one. You never seen it coming. Hey, chill. Let me hit it again. Oh! oh my god, that was. I didn't expect to grab. I should have because he's a sumo wrestler, but. Alright, listen. Get work. Right. Does this one have <laughs> the song has lyrics? I just noticed. God, right in the middle. Ugh. You know, this wouldn't fly in most other bordellos. Well, maybe you should run a legitimate one instead of just trying to scam people. Uh, you're right, sir. From now on, I'll be more forthcoming with clients and keep this place on the up and up. Wait, what do you mean? My establishment is every bit of brothel, I assure you. We wish to cater to those who fancy men of sumo. There are lots of people out there who like their partner soft and plump, including many samurai like yourself. I see. At any rate, I'm sorry for the confusion. I would love to offer you a complimentary night here, as an apology. Dos koi! Let us make this up to you! <laughs> Tonight will be a night of passion. Yeah. I appreciate the offer, but no thank you. Your loss... Take this, then. Oh, okay. My apologies again. Please come back whenever you seek the embrace of something soft and supple. Dosukoi! That was, that was a good short one. Short, short and sweet. Dosukoi. Mm, that's the wrong way. Just see what's down here, if anything. Uh, wait, what? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a weird angle for the camera to go all of a sudden. Alright. Uh, there's a letter. At the end, at the, here. 
Ah, come on. Or a notebook, it looks like. Almost. It's a diary. Yeah. Some teenage girl must have dropped it. Who else would carry a diary around? <laughs> Resist the hurt? Nah, I'm taking a peek. What do you mean? Finders keepers. I mean, if I want to return this diary to its owner, I have to read some of it. I feel bad about that, but what else can I do? All right, let's see. Darkness surrounds me. There's nothing I can do to soothe this agony in my heart as I sink deeper into despair's cold embrace. Yeah, definitely the musings of a teenager. The youthful angst. How can I find the strength to tell you how my thoughts center on you? Even when I'm working, when I'm eating, when I'm bathing. I know this love will remain forever unrequited. I know I must give you up, but I can't. I only think of you. Can't you see that I love you? This girl's got it bad. She down bad. <laughs> Even I'm starting to feel sorry for her reading this. Poor lovelorn kid. The agony only grows as I write. No more. I'm done with this diary. Let it decay at the shrine, like my heart decays without your love. Huh. That explains how our diary ended up here at the shrine. I was wondering. My only fear is if someone might find this diary and find out all my secrets. I wonder what that person would think of me. Would they call me a fool and laugh, or would they tell me they understand? I wish I was there to ask this person. Is this torture? Uh, is this torture I'm enduring normal? Or am I just stupid to be so in love? Not sure what to, not sure what to make of her question at the end. How would I answer that? I wish I could answer her. Maybe there's some way to get a message to the girl. First of all, what do I think about unrequited love? What do I think about it deep down? <laughs> she should just love me instead. Forget about who you've been seeing. I'm the one. <laughs> All love is precious. Every type of love is precious. Don't give up. Even when things seem impossible, you might just get what you want. That should do. Hope it finds its way to her. Finders Weepers. And so I guess we, we come back later and, and see what happened. Hmm, but if she threw it away, is she gonna be back for it? Oh my lord. Wait, is that? Hold on a sec. Hey, you. Ah, I thought so. Come here. What's up? Put him up. Ouch. Stand up so I can get this tiger drop off. Ow. Got him. Ouch.
Alright. Uh, Saitohan, please reconsider Kondasen says all by himself out there. With no one to entertain him. Why don't you give him some company? I suppose. Don't go tell Anatose, alright? Should probably never let me live it down. Oh, don't worry. My lips are sealed. And thank you, by the way. Sure. Now where is this Kondasen anyway? He left for Watami by himself. Didn't seem to be in great spirits. Sounds like I'll need to cheer him up then. Right. And I'll be sure to mind your and be sure to mind your manners. Not only is he famous, but he's a valued guest of mine. Word spreads, you know. Hm. Understood. Who's entertaining who? Now where is this guy? Where did he get off to? I'm guessing he went over here. Another one. I guess that works. Get him out of here. See you later. There's a, there's a, said he went to Watami? So I guess it's the other one. Get out of hold on a second. Oh, I'm tripping. Oh, is wait, is that where he is? Oh yeah, there's Watami. Why didn't I see it there before? There he is. Maybe. Sound? Hello? Okay. It just all cut out. Uh oh. Maybe I should have asked what Kanda Sensei looks like. Hey, you there. Huh? What is it? Feel like having a drink? With you? Well, of course. I've come a long way to be here in Kyo, only to find myself drinking alone. Can you help an old man look less pathetic, son? I don't like turning you down, but there's someone I'm supposed to meet. Wait. Did you just say you've come a long way? Are you... Hmm? <laughs> ah, methinks the Okami sent you here for me. Women in Kyo are so thoughtful. Hell of me impressed. <laughs> I'll admit, I didn't expect you to be the Kanda sensei I'm looking for. Please, call me Kanda. No need for all that sensei business. Though, if you insist, I'll certainly take the compliment. Hmm. 
I thought he'd be more intimidating, being famous and all. But he's actually pretty friendly. So, what sort of artist are you? Oh, so what sort of artist are you, Kanda? I know there are many different kinds. Oh? You're unfamiliar with my ouvre? Why, I take part in every form of art there is. Really? Painting, pottery, theater, music, song, and dance. By the time I hit 30, I was a master of them all. That's impressive. It is, if I do say so myself. This whole time it must really be something special. Hey, you know what? There's a singing bar right here in town. Ah, I've been. Really? Why don't you say so? Let's get right over there. Wanna see, I wanna hear you sing. Me? What for? Hush, before you change your mind. Waitress, bring the check. Seriously? Hell yeah. I expect a good show, Saito. Don't disappoint. Right. Never thought I'd wind up performing in front of a big artist. Guess I'll have to give it all I've got. Hiding Sakura? Okay, this one is... Fine, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I'll take it. Phew. All right, old man. You happy now? Saito. I am so incredibly, marvelously, deeply moved. Your voice is as smooth as a polished gem. Are you serious? As a heart attack, which you almost made me have, by the way, because you were so good. A man's got away with words. Can't tell who's entertaining who here. Another song. Serenade us with some more, Saito. You want to hear another one? Of course. Who wouldn't want to hear such a euph uh, a euphony? Well, if you insist. Am I going to do it again? Oh, okay. I'm back up here. <laughs> okay, that's about all. Alright, all right, they skipped it. <laughs> Come on, Saito. You tired already? Toughen up those vocal cords. No, I think I'm at my limit here. Ah, very well then. Oh, by the gods. Are, are, are you okay? I've been struck with a bolt of heavenly inspiration just from listening to your voice. Are you serious? My voice? Oh, yes. I feel it. The very essence of truth and beauty is surging through me. Bring me a brush and paper. Hurry. Okay. If it's the essence of truth and beauty we're talking about. <laughs> I just got on the floor. What's he cooking up? Whew, there. He drew that in one go. That took some serious concentration. What if it's just dog shit? <laughs> I forgot who this guy really is. A true master of the arts. 
Behold, my interpretation of the symphony which in, which emanated from your throat. <laughs> it's uh, it's very abstract. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is. I have no idea. What do you think, Saito? Don't you think it shows how striking your voice is? Yeah, it sure does. Ah, so you understand me. What about it spoke to you? The delicate lens of color was bold and virile. Somehow, it's just amazing. It was bold and virile. The strokes are bold and virile. They almost leap off the page. Bold and virile, you say? Fantastic. That's exactly what I was going for. Wow, I'm even better than I thought. Seems like I said the right thing. You have quite the keen art for art. Uh, yeah, keen eye for art, Saito. Rare thing nowadays. <laughs> you think so? By the way, you have any other artistic uh, skills besides singing? I can dance. There's one other thing I can do. Buyo. What? You can dance? Why didn't you say so? It seems you have some inner elegance about you. Let's see some of that right now. <sighs> Does it have to be right this instant? But of course, we must seize the moment. Follow me. <laughs> Ready to strut your stuff, Saito? Go on, then. You really are excited, aren't you? Do I really have to dance, too? Well, why not make it fun? A song and a dance. Gotta do it. But which one are we doing, though? And at what difficulty? Oh, shit. I just gotta be ready. Time to show them the spirit of Japan, I guess. Ah, shit. I don't know why I thought first class. Okay. I don't know why I thought the arrows were going to come in at the end there. They weren't even lighting up. <laughs> Satisfied? Saito. I am so moved. Deep in my soul. You're a genius of the dance. You think so? Certainly. I think you might be better than I am. I swear you could be a professional if you wanted to. Okay. Now he's just flattering me. <laughs> but at least we're both entertained. Alright, next dance. Show us some more, Saito. More? On top of all that? Of course. With your natural talent, I'd be crazy not to ask. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, boy. Whew. Dancing really takes it out of you. Sure it does. But are you really that tired already? Fuck up, Saito. No can do. 
I'm spent. Okay, okay. Wait. By the gods. Kandasan? Has another idea struck you? Yes, the muse of dance herself is speaking to me. Nay, yelling at me. All because I've been watching you, Saito. Really? And I did all that? Hmm. I sense my hand being possessed once again. Get me a brush and a paper that I may capture this. Again? Okay. On the floor. There's a, there, bro, there's a table right over there. Whew, done. Did it all in one go again. Just goes to show how talented the man is. Behold, my interpretation of your whirling body and dance. Okay, I can actually kind of see it there. Wow, this is uh, just as bizarre as the last one. What do you think, Saito? Did I produce two amazing works in a row? Y yeah, amazing is one way to describe it. Can you give me a little more detail? What is it you find amazing? It's bold yet elegant. It's crude yet strong. I'm gonna say it's bold yet elegant. The brushstrokes are bold yet elegant. It's incredible how you blended the two concepts. Bold yet elegant, you say. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted to express with this drawing. And clearly I succeeded. Nice, I said the right thing. Saito, you could become an artist if you really put your mind to it. <laughs> you flatter me. So song, dance. All this singing is tucking me down. Time to call it a day. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I was the one performing. What got you so tired? Because it took twice as much energy watching you. A lot goes through my head. Huh. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? What? Thank what the hell? Uh, thanks to you, I feel like I finally turned a new... Hmm? Yo, I think we found our artist. Somehow I don't get the feeling they're admirers. <laughs> so, yeah, so the rumors about you being in the city were true. Hey, this is a kidnapping. This guy really gonna make us any money? Of course. Kanda's a god to his fans. And the whole art world. At the very least, we'll be able to shake down his family. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I have no family. What? I thought your son's supposed to be famous too. Don't you lie to me. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get him. What makes you think I'll allow that? <laughs> you think you can beat us one on four? S Saito, don't worry. This will be over soon. Just hide somewhere safe. I'm about to start plowing. Don't die. Just don't die, Saito. Uh. I don't plan on it. Then you better make a new plan. In hell. Flay him alive, fellas. Hold on a sec. Oh. Look, if you don't... Hold on a sec. What do you mean?
Hmm. He's too strong. Are you okay, Saito? Uh. Yeah, I'm done here. I'm so glad. Hey, no need for the tears. I'm just so glad you're alive and inspiration strikes again. As you know, I had a son. Very talented boy. He was a great artist. He was a great artist, just like his pop, if I do say so myself. Was? Mm. A few years back, he did the unthinkable and took his own life. You see, when your old man is someone like me, who's been good at everything he's put his hand to, well, it can wear on you. Because people won't stop with the comparisons. The kid doesn't have his father's talent, that sort of thing. A life of endless criticism. And in the end, he couldn't bear the burden of living under my shadow. I'm sorry that happened. Wouldn't you know it, today's the anniversary of his death. That's why I didn't want to be alone in my house. So I made my way to Kia. Then I was just alone in a foreign place. But then you showed up. And I noticed immediately that you were my son's age. And that brought back some happy memories. I don't know what to say. Well, I'm grateful to you, Saito. I haven't had this much fun in a long, long time. I'm glad I got to see you sing and dance. Those skills, plus your eye for art, makes me confident you could be a great artist. <laughs> I never expected flattery from someone of your reputation. You know how to make an entertainer entertained. <laughs> I won't deny that. All right. Well, I've had my fill of Kyo. I better head back to my inn. Have a safe trip back. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this, Saito. Ooh, an ancient amulet. I'll see you around. Let's have a drink again sometime. Yes. Good luck with your art. What, you think I need luck at this stage in my career? Doodles. Yeah. Seemed like he had a really good time. In fact, I think I might have filled a void in that old heart of his. Oh boy. Always gotta get heavy. Alright, what's up with this gambler? Yes. Uh oh. That's me. どうした以前、沖田さんとお井払ってもらった戸原氏がまた現れたんです。どうやら今度は袋貝でうろついてるらしいんですが、またか。しょうがねえな。ありがとうございます。私は先に行っていますので、袋貝でお茶いましょう。Let me in. Ah, Saito san, matte mashita yo. Sa sa, kochira desu. This guy could be leading me into a trap. Zuiben to, hitoke no nai tokoro made ikun da na. Hmm? きたか、斉藤。また会ったな。また悪さをしているらしいが。年貢の納め時だぜ。それは貴様の方だろう。<笑> 
Nani. わなにハマったな。斉藤さんよ。貴様と起きたにはこの前。恥かかされちまったからな。ちょっと仕返しさせてもらおうと思ってな。まさか。へへへ。これでよかったんですよね。役目は果たしましたから。ちゃんと分け
<laughs> but Okita, you were there. I'm a bit upset that I'm here at the barracks. <laughs> I hope they don't spit me out here. Okay, they didn't. They put me like just outside. Cool. Very good. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry, sir. You shouldn't have fell over so easily. Why'd you topple like that? What is... Are you something? Nah, you ain't doing nothing. Wait a Alright. There was something over here. I think. Yeah. This... This guy and his kid, probably. What are they doing? And hey, what y'all doing? I swear I really saw it. <clears throat> bear boy. You gotta believe me. I really did see a bear. What? A bear? That kid's telling the truth. People could really be in danger. The boy who cried bear? Oh, no. Please believe me, Dad. There really was a bear. Ah, son. Can't you at least come up with a better lie? There are no bears around here. This boy who cried bear routine of yours is getting awfully tiresome. Hold on. <laughs> it's getting awfully tiresome. I was fibbing last time, okay? But this time I swear it's true. Hey, did you actually see a bear, kid? Huh? Yes, sir. With my own eyes. Hmm. What did it look like? Um. It was as tall as you, at least. It had dark fur. It looked real strong. Is this a guy in a bear suit? Oh, fuck. He's literally... <laughs> Oh my god. Bro just showed up. Instant transmission. Hmm. Anything else? Well, he sort of looked like the guy behind you. Whoa! It's a real bear! Hey. Both of them. Why'd they take off like that? It says something about a guy behind me. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's just not saying anything. I thought I saw a zipper. Yeah, I feel like there's a seam right down him. I don't know. A bear. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fighting a bear. <laughs> Troublesome bear. Yeah. All right. First things first, we immediately distance ourselves. All right. Hold on. Oh no, I don't have a lot of healing items. Oh no. <laughs> I got a great more. What's up, bear? Oh, you know what? No, this would be. Oh. I won't roar. What you roar? Who you roaring at? Oh! Okay. He's charging? Okay. Oh, wait. I can tiger drop him. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I messed up the timing. This is meant for tigers, not bears. Oh, fuck! <laughs> but, but maybe but maybe the same principles apply. Oh, my God. Oh, got his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> Ah! I messed up the timing again. Damn, just whipped that bear in the face. Ah! Ah! Okay. Got 
out of this. I should quit playing and use the gun. Two, three, four. Oh no. My marvelous combo ender. You know what? Hold on. Oh, no. Which one? Oh. Which one is it? Is it this? No. This one? It is. No, wait. No, it isn't. I call on the power of Rahul Kohli. God damn. <laughs> I love how the cry out is rob them of their dignity. <laughs> Didn't expect to fight a bear today. Wow, mister, that was amazing. You actually beat a bear. If I become a samurai, do you think I could take down a bear too? I'm not really sure. I guess it depends on the bear. <laughs> okay. Then I'll be a powerful samurai when I grow up and protect people from bear attacks just like you. D don't be ridiculous. Uh, forgive my son's frivolous ambition, sir. And please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Inviting hat. Hey, hey, what do I have to do to be a samurai? Hmm. Well, if nothing else, don't tell any more lies. Samurai don't fib? Okay, I promise to tell the truth from now on. So long, sir. When I become a powerful samurai, let's have a duel, okay? <laughs> Looking forward to it. What if they port Kinzan and I actually have that fucking duel? Or I guess remaster it. I can't believe I had to fight a bear. Seems like the world's getting more dangerous every day. I guess this is a... Uh, I'd say it's a remaster. It's a really good one. It's closer to a Kiwami than a regular remaster, though. Mm -hmm. Here's a veggie boy. All right, that's taken care of. There's something uh, back like around here that I didn't walk toward. Um, but I guess that was everything up here. Unless the uh, dude is still by this gambler's den. Oh, a golden sneak. Hello. See you later. truly tell when it's attacking. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's right. I need to buy more of these. It is a fiddle. Right as rain. Ah, okay. All right. There it is. There we go. <laughs> that's what I wanted. See you later. that apothecary at over there all right cool 
Oh, right. These dudes. They've been standing here forever. All right. We'll get to them. I actually don't want any longevity pills. Thank you. Damn. What? Mm. I shouldn't even need this many. Uh, what's new in here? Okay, bloodstained cloth. When did I get this? I was, <laughs> I was grinding for this off screen. Cause I needed it for like an upgrade. I, th I think, uh, uh, do I have, uh, yeah, there it is. Obsidian trunk. Okay. Okay. So now, <laughs> uh, now I actually need to go back to, uh, Mukuro guy to get that upgrade. I think. I'm pretty sure I didn't get it there. He said I needed the bus and cloth. But first. Oh, okay. <sighs> Stop fooling around. Where is Saito? How should I know? See, you're all the ones crushing on him so bad. I don't buy it. I've seen how friendly you are with him. I'm a friendly guy. People always tell me I have excellent social skills. What's going on here? Ah, Saito-san. Boy, am I glad to see you. He finally makes his appearance. You're one of the Black Panther Couriers, right? One of? Hardly. I'm the Black Panther Courier's leading man, Makino. And I'll be the one that defeats you today. You do realize I wouldn't even I wouldn't even deliver any more letters if you didn't keep forcing me to race. You could just leave me alone. That's not happening. Not after you beat Hoshi. Sloppy as it was. A win's a win. We can't let a win go on un go unanswered. This is ridiculous. Makino, a leading man. He's famous for his panish. Like when he dances after making a successful delivery. <laughs> Oh, so it slows him down, I see. But he's got skills to back it up. His endurance allows him to deliver and deliver without ever stopping. <laughs> this one's got an eye for talent. Hmm. Let's keep it nice and simple. First to deliver 12 letters wins. Fine by me. Then let's go, Courier Samurai. The Panther's leading man. I'm going to have to race all these dudes. There's like two more after this one. That's the first letter. I can't see the map. Oh. I'm actually just faster than him. Go, man. A bit worried about my pathing here. Where? There you are. Oh my, please. I don't know why I thought he said eat my ass for a second. He's like, yeah, seven letters, eat my ass. My like, damn. He's serious about that shit.
the 11th letter. Just one more. Nine. Oh, is anybody faster? Okay, I'm not worried about my bathing anymore. Damn, these dudes suck. I don't believe my eyes. Two in a row against the Panthers. Damn it all. I made one wrong turn. That's it. If not for that, I'd... I'd... Race me again. Just one more time. You're embarrassing yourself, Makino. Recovering from wrong turns is as important a skill as any. If you can't do that, you sully the Black Courier's name. Oh, the Black Panther Courier's name. Damn it. Saito, yes? Yeah. It looks like I'll have to face you myself. You were lucky to defeat Makino, but that's as far as you'll go. I'm the Black Panther Courier's playmaker because no one can overcome my strategic ability. My deliveries know no error. Your luck's run out, I'm afraid. It wouldn't be sporting to compete with you now after you just raced. Rest well. Your days of victory are at an end. See you soon. <laughs> Inamoto will be next, huh? Judging by his confidence, this might not be easy. Um, Saito-san? Hmm? Yeah. Kiyokawa? I've just been, uh, wondering about our relationship. We are friends, right? I mean, it's hard to tell with you, and I don't want to assume anything, but... <laughs> he just closes his eyes and looks towards the heavens. <laughs> what you what what you looking at? What are you? And there wasn't any exclamation point on the map for him. I just walked over here. Well, I guess I'll have to find the other one just the same way. It is what it is. I got to I got to go to Maguro guy. So done. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's going to be a whole thing. You're going to chase after me. You're not going to be able to catch up because I'm too fast. I'm sorry. Billbug? <gasps> Damn. Take me to the man what makes my weapon stronger and shit. Hmm. My boy's still not back yet. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, I got the stuff. You there. You've got some nice weapons. Let me see them. Take a look at the skink lizard. Oh, nice sword. You can make that katana strong. You should bring me one bloodstained cloth and gold nuggets, five gold chunks. And over the materials. Make it stronger. Clang, clang, bang. There we are. The Mura, the Muramasa. That felt great. <laughs> Yo, it's got the skull on that. Yo. This shit clean. What's up? You got anything else? Anything else? What's up with you? Clink, clink, clink. Okay. I guess I need to bring him, like, I don't know, a specific sword. It's sick that it just doesn't cost anything. 728? Yo, that hilt is crazy. Hold on a sec. Let's see the. Yeah, this shit tight. This shit clean. Oh, and the little, little skeleton hands are, like, wrapping up the blade. That's nice. And it's got 
two of those uh, vampiric effects slotted in. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't like it. Not at all. Okay, so where am I at with this thing? Yeah. Yaksha Blade. Skin Glizzard. Muramasa. Oh. It's stronger. Okay, yeah. So he, okay, he asked for the same, uh, the same things, but he's like, no extra charge. But he only did it with the Yaksha Blade? And not like, uh, well, actually, the Yaksha Blade has a couple different trees it can go down. So maybe he only, maybe it only activates for those kinds of weapons where there's like a couple different trees that can go down. And I may also need some uh, specific ones. Oh, I do have this? Hmm. How many of these? So I have the Tuna Smith, but he didn't prompt me to upgrade that. And I have uh, this, but he didn't prompt me to upgrade that one either. Hmm. I'm curious. Curious, curious. Curious George. Have the worn sword, a grinding stone. Thirty grinding stones. Oh, that makes sense. It's a worn sword, I guess. I guess that makes sense. God Slayer's talisman. Hmm. That's a lot of Rio. But mercy, please. No, that's probably not. That's just some generic, uh, cry. Uh, so you got anything? Where is she? She's gone. Come, hello? Here we go. A group called the Token Clan, or the Token? Oh, yeah, I guess. Token Clan is behind these street attacks. I should ask Amatsu about this. Token Clan hideout. Five members of the Token. Oh, there she is. She was waiting for me to prompt it. Something's happened. The Ronin you brought in have all left. What? They all suddenly got up and hobbled outside. I called out to them, but they wouldn't answer. It was bizarre. All I could do was have one of the ta uh, Tachi Tachibanagumi Tachibanagumi tail them. I did find something out, though. Apparently, they're all members of the Token Clan. Token clan? It's a social club for samurai who collect rare swords as a hobby. Lately, though, it seems like its members have been acting strangely. What do you mean? I've been asking around, talking to their families and friends. Un until recently, they were all kind, courteous people. The token clan only accepts collectors who believe in samurai ideals and uphold a strict moral code. But now they've started staying out until late at night and don't respond when people talk to them. I hear it's a drastic change. Brainwashing? Question mark? And the samurai that have been attacking me are all members of this clan? It seems that way. So I've looked into the token clan. They have a usual meeting place and people are still coming and going from there. I see. So I should head there myself and investigate. I'd be grateful if you could, but please be careful. Token members aren't merely hobbyists. They're skilled swordsmen. Judging by the ones you've brought in so far, you might not be able to get through them by talking. Right, got it. The hideout is a bit far from here. Let me know when you're ready and I can call the palaquin for you. What do you say? I'm ready to go. I got all the healing items I need. <clears throat> I'm ready. I should go before more people get attacked. Right. I'll call the palaquin. Be careful, Saito-san. Hmm? What's that smell? Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Are you members of the token clan? 
Empty eyed samurai, pain samurai, murderous samurai, kill. <laughs> Smirking samurai? Matsu was right. Something strange is definitely going on. Guess there's no choice. Ah! Hold on, wait. You fool! Damn it. <laughs> Try it again. Why did that? Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, who are you? Are you with the Token Clan? My name is Saito. I've crossed swords with your members, but I haven't had much luck speaking with them. It feels like... Uh, it feels like I've been trapped in a nightmare. Can you tell me what happened? It's hard to remember exactly. My head is so foggy. Forgive me. My name is Yukimitsu. I'm the representative of the Token Clan. From what I can recall, it all started when I acquired the demonic sword Mur Murasama? Uh oh. <laughs> A demonic sword? That might explain some things. The Token Clan is home to many, uh, to many of various backgrounds. We're all brothers united by our love of rare katana. It happened that one day an odd peddler visited, visited us. A peddler. He claimed to deal in unique and extraordinary weaponry, and so we welcomed him, though he was a bit tawdry. At his urging, I purchased Murasama. Other members of our clan bought swords as well. 
From that day on, everything became hazy. As though I've been walking around in a, about... As though I've been walking about in a dream. That merchant seemed suspicious. Did he say anything else? It's so hard to remember. I seem to recall... Yes, he offered us some incense. He claimed it could. Uh, he claimed it helped prevent fatigue. Incense, huh? Hmm. Tachiban and Gumi should look into this. They can help you all if you uh, if you'll come back with me. Thank you. <clears throat> Peddler, demonic sword, and incense. Should report all this to Tachiban and Gumi HQ. And so that's how it happened. <laughs> That must have really been tough. Great work, Saito-san. The token members are resting now while we treat them. That's good. Are you hurt at all, Saito-san? No, I'm fine. Did you find anything else about the swords or that incense? The swords seemed just like normal katana. The incense too, actually. I was feeling brave, so I inhaled a bit of it, but I'm fine. I see. I thought for sure they'd give us a clue somehow. It's almost like they were all possessed by some sort of mysterious force. I got that feeling, too. In every fight, it seems like they had no will of their own. Maybe there's something we're missing here, besides the katana and the incense? At any rate, there must be a mastermind that's been manipulating the token clan in some way. Maybe. But what would their reason be? I don't know. But anyone capable of bending others to their will... Like that needs to be stopped. Let me know if you find out anything else. Of course. Here's your reward. I put on a little extra this time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Book of Revelation Smash. Hello. By the way, some new requests came in. I posted them on the board. Check them out if you get a chance, please. Right, I will. Maybe more of those ninjas. Book of Revelation Smash. Tell, tells of the swordsman ability, Essence of Mincemeat. By repeatedly breaking enemies' guards, this technique may come to you. Okay. Which of the crest, the coat was dressed like a green ninja. Near Teramachi in Rakunai. Three green ninja. I've been robbing people near Teramachi. In Rakunai. Okay. Uh-oh, the Jozo Tengu. Umi Kojicho. They haven't, any they haven't caused any damage yet, but they're liable to go wild. I should stop them before they do. Okay. Yeah, I guess their usual behavior is bad enough. Uh, oh, damn. Okay, yeah, I can't be up here. I can't use the map up here. A uh, bit concerned about the demonic sword in my possession, but you know what? It is what it is, man. Okay, uh, Rakunai near Teramachi. Oh, well, that's Teramachi Street. <laughs> Ryomi, you breathing all hard, bro? Relax.
Oh, okay. That's actually Teramachi. Why am I going to be in here? Probably in here. Wait. Ah, it... uh, that's not them. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should stop him. I should stop him. I should stop him. Gun. Oh, and this is also Teramachi. Okay. Oh yeah, that dude. He's probably something too. He never leaves here. Wonder if I can. Okay. We we can side stuff him right now. But I need to go back there. I need to remember he's back there, and I probably won't. To be honest. I mean, it's sitting near Tiramachi, not that they were in it, so. I don't know. Oh, right, the ninjas. Yeah, you. Thief. Which way did they go? That away, three green ninjas. Only three of them this time. They're probably fast as fuck, I would guess. Or maybe, or maybe they juke like crazy since there's only three of them. Yo, get your ass back here. Nah, they're whatever. On to the next one. I have no idea where they are, but I'm guessing they're over here. Aha! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I don't run away now, I'm on your ass. Mm. Gotcha, you ninja some bitch. Either you're gonna fight or just run away again. <laughs> hey, all of you, just wait for a second. What's going on? Aren't you supposed to be chivalrous, Sonobi? What does it matter to you? I'm with the Tachibana Gumi. People have been asking us to stop you all. I should be trying to capture you and bring you to our headquarters. But something tells me you're not just petty thieves. Tachibana Gumi, huh? They've been good to us in the past. And trust us now. What's happening? If there's anything I can do to help, I will. Alright. I'll tell you. We did once call ourselves Shiver Sonobi, but our leader Tojirosama has gone mad. Gone mad? Yes. Tojirosama and his sister, Oharusan, were abandoned as children. They're orphans. Growing up in poverty, Tojirosama decided to apprentice with a shinobi clan. After striking out on their own, Tojiro and Oharu began taking. Taking people who had nowhere else in. They were like parents to us. But our clan's mother, Ohara-san, fell ill not long ago. The doctor told us all he could do was give her a little more time. And even that would require a hefty sum. So to pay for her treatment. Yes, 
There was no way to amass that much money without renouncing our chivalrous values. Of course, we know that our Haru-san wouldn't want this, but Tajirasama. Tajirasama has changed. These days he doesn't even talk to us. He just stays in his room and burning incense that uh, Lickspittle doctor prescribed to him. Incense? Uh-oh. It's supposed to ease his suffering. Tajirasama must surely be in great pain. Hmm. So, that's our story. I hope you understand now. That said, we can't afford for you to bring us in. Wait. Hmm? The incense you mentioned. What else do you know about it? If you really want to help your leader, this might be the key. Can you tell me who this doctor is? The Tachibana Gumi could look into him. Why would they do that? Do you suspect something? It's possible that Tajiro is being manipulated somehow. What? We uncovered a similar incident recently. It also involves a strange incense. I'm not sure, but it's possible the same person is behind it all. Can't be. We've, ball we've all been so concerned. We'll try to find out what we can for you. Thank you. Do you know where Tachibana Kumi HQ is? If you discover anything, contact them. Understood. I appreciate your help. Oh, and please, return this for us. I will. Thank you so much. I won't let it out of my sight again. Good. Take care. And be careful. I should head back to Tachibanagumi HQ. Omatsu needs to hear about this. Now hold on. Uh, well, actually, before I forget, because I know I will, I need to go back to Teramachi. Back to the other side of Teramachi. Anyway. I gotta run into this guy. I know what you are! <laughs> A love-starved husband. Hello there. Out for a walk? Hmm? Yeah. Something like that. I can understand why. This is a quiet spot with a beautiful view. I come here a lot. It is pretty nice here. The only thing that could make it better would be sitting down with some homemade food, don't you think? Now that he mentions it, this would make a really nice, uh, bleh, make a relaxing place to have a bite. Why not? Haven't got anything edible. Maybe another time. <laughs> okay. Do I need to bring two dishes or just one? You know what? I'll bring two. I should, uh, there should be some in a box behind me. Be some in storage. First, I'm going to pray. Let us pray. I've got space. First of all, there we go. Ah, uh, the medicine. Just all homemade pickles. I got two orders of homemade pickles. <laughs> Let's go. It'll work, baby. That'll work, baby. Hmm, what do I want to eat? All right, I'll take a break. This is nice. Oh, you brought something to eat? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're all set, it seems. Say, is that homemade? Uh. Yeah, I suppose it is. Uh, whoops. Homemade bento. Wow, I'm jealous. 
Even from here, I can see the care your loving wife put into that. What? No, this wasn't... Oh, I'm so jealous. Imagine, a bento, made with care, by a loving wife. It's what every man dreams of. It's not even listening to me. Since I was a boy, I've yearned for the taste of a bento made with care by a loving wife. <laughs> I thought marrying would make my dream come true. Hmm? You're married? Then why don't you get your wife to make you one? Well, after we were wed, I learned my wife is not only a terrible cook, but horribly lazy. Damn, son. That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> She can't cook and she lazy. And scary as well. If I asked her to make me a bento, she'd kill me and make a bento of my corpse. I see. That's rough, buddy. That's why you're so lucky to have that bento. Made with care by your loving wife. I hope you thank her every day. <laughs> All right. It's, well, it's far too awkward to tell him now. Ah, uh, if only. Once in my life, I could know what it's like to taste a bento made with care by a loving wife. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to have to make this guy a bento, aren't I? Sigh. Do you want a bite? Huh? You mean it? Yeah. I know it's not made by your wife or anything, but... Yes! Please, please, let me have some. They're just pickles, dog. A lovey-dovey wifey bento. <laughs> he is down horrendous. Oh, my God. It was every bit as good as I always dreamed. I'm glad. Come on, though. No need to cry about it. It's just... Now I know... There's nothing in this world more delicious than a loving wife's cooking. I cooked it, you idiot. <laughs> yes, Kirio, you are his loving wife. How did I, I, like, what are you not getting, you know? Thank you. I'll never forget what you've done for me. And to ensure that, I intend to march into the sea this very moment, huh? He said, I finally eaten a loving wife's bento. Now I can die happy. Hey, wait. What are you saying? <laughs> no, I'm joking, of course. I suppose it's back to my old life now. Never again tasting such a bento. If only I could have just one more. A bento made with care by a loving wife. <laughs> I wish I could bring another one by when I get... I guess I could bring another one by when I get the chance. Huh? Do you really mean it? Yeah, but you know it's not made by your wife, so... That doesn't matter. I'd do anything for another bite of bento. Made with care. By a loving wife. What? I thought I was done with these. Nothing has ever tasted so good to me. I'll wait for you here day and night. Please, please give her my regards. Sure. I don't believe this. Ah, and if it makes him that happy, I guess I can come back. You formed a bond with a love-starved husband. You can deepen your bond by continuing to interact with him. I thought I filled them all. Hold on a second here. I thought I cleared them. How could I have been so wrong? I thought the I thought they showed up as question marks. I guess I was like totally. Incorrect about that. I don't know. Yeah, 20, <laughs> 21 out of 22. They keep showing up. Never mind. They will never go away. Can I give you another one right now? I think you're better than only got one more. Okay. Later. All right. All right. You kids aren't anything. Even though you're like rock solid, I can't move you at all. Those kids aren't anything. All right. I'm going to need more homemade pickles. I'm going to just make more homemade pickles. That's what it is. That's what it's going to have to be. But first, uh, Umi, what was the, Umi Kojicho. So like right here.
All right. Did they lose me? Hello? I'm right here. What's up? There we go. Oh, there was one behind me. There's two behind me. What's in here? Motherfucker. Out. Die. Why am I not aiming at him? Die. Well, the plan is to just make a bunch of homemade pickles. I don't know. Maybe it was a localization error or something that he keeps saying. Uh, he's specifying bento specifically, even though what I fed him was definitely not a bento or anything out of a bento. He just wants homemade food. Not he 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 he. Not the cheeky little laugh. Oh, I can bring out the sword fast enough. Dead. It's fool. Hold on. I want to fucking get him with this. Go again. Nope. I didn't get him. <laughs> Do it again. Gosh, your ass. Feed me. Sick training or bra. Where these motherfuckers at? Hmm. That's right, it's me. Yo, sick flame sword, bro. Too bad. Too bad it's not as cool as my vampire sword. Oh my god. 
What's up, broski? It seems our swords are similar. But I'm the better swordsman. Oh. Huh? Oh my god, the jump. Sorry, friend, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> they won't let me give you money. Oh, yeah, this guy is still dead here. One sec. West Immigrant Channel? North Immigrant Okay. East Umekoji Cho. Okay. So I guess they could be. Oh, there he is right there. There they are right there. Boss been acting weird lately. It's them. Eight men. Eight of them. That's them. Three from the request. Hey, you all. People have been complaining. You need to pay your bill and be on your way. Who the hell are you? Wait, you're the one from before. Because of you, our boss, he's... Everyone up! I, Sakami of the Diabolical Jozo Tengu, demand justice. Fine, whatever gets you to leave. You, call everyone from the other shop. Yes, sir. Club motherfucker. Whoop. I missed. Like, let me get the let me get the nope just it there it is <laughs> get up i'm gonna do it again ouch get up hit me again got him hmm Get up. Oh. 
<sighs> Damn it. He's still too much. How many times am I gonna have to beat you all before you learn? Urgh. If you think our boss would ever lie down for the likes of you, you've got another thing coming. Of course, that was before he started to change. Ah, damn it. I guess I'll fill you in. The boss met this new guy recently. At first, revenge on you was all he cared about. But lately I get the feeling he's being used. He won't tell us anything, though. Pisses me off. Just watch out for yourself. Something's happened to the leader of the Tengu, Jozo. I should tell Omatsu. I, I, I should let Omatsu know this. Back to Mukurogai. That guy's probably ready to eat again. Son of a bitch. The inner staircase, right here. Yo, new info just dropped. Something's bothering me. I was able to talk to one of them. A green ninja. I think something might be influencing them. You mentioned a doctor providing them with incense. If that's the case, I can help. I'll see if I can find out anything. Green ninja might contact you with more information. Thanks. Thank you, Saito-san. I'll be counting on you again. 
Anything on the board? Nothing's posted. What about you? I'll use the boat. I need to go make some pickles. About four more of them. Oh, I can't do that, can I? Get out. Hello, Haruka-chan. Oh, the crops are in, baby. there. Oh. Taito-san? Hello there. I have a letter addressed to you. Ah, thanks. Hmm? I thought you were a courier. Who are you? My apologies. I am Hirakawa. Chief of the Black Panther Couriers, the chief. Yes, I believe you're acquainted with my team, having already dispatched Koshi and Makino. I didn't dispatch anyone. They issued a challenge and I accepted. That's all. I see. Forgive me. I'm simply surprised that my couriers could lose to an amateur. Until now, we were known as the fastest in Kyo. You've brought no some small amount of shame to our reputation. Not that it's my concern, but weren't you trying to ruin your competitors' reputations? Seems like you reap what you sow. <laughs> Me sowing. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I love this. This is the greatest shit ever. Me reaping. Well, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> You're a saucy one, Saito-san. I suppose you have a point. So why are you here? This doesn't feel like a neighborly visit. <laughs> What's up, Cupid? Yes, well, allow me to be blunt. I would like you to join my team. You want me on the Panthers? Just so. As I said, our reputation has been damaged. Rumor abounds of Keo's new speedy delivery man, swifter than even the Black Panther couriers. There are two ways of undoing this. Outrace you, or make you one of us. Either way, we remain the fastest in Keo. I don't know about all that. Right. If you recruit the upstart amateur, it's just one more win for the Panthers. <laughs> oh, precisely so. 
We provide a most generous salary. You would find it quite lavish, judging by the state of your abode. Sorry, but no. I never wanted to be a courier, and I can't say your way of doing business has changed my mind. Hmm. The Panthers are fast, but there's more to deliveries than that. Senders and recipients want their letters handled with care. Speed's not a bad quality, but heart matters just as much. I think as long as you treat deliveries like a race, that will escape you. I see. Well, the Black Panther Couriers appreciate your valuable feedback. Nonetheless, you leave me with no choice but to crush you underfoot for the sake of my business. Delivery for you? What is this? You'll understand once you read it. Farewell, Saito-san. Better take a look. This is Emoto. Inamoto. Black Panther Courier's playmaker. If your feet are rested and prepared, let's have our match. I'll await you at the bridge near the gambling den in Rakugai. Once and for all, we'll see who's the fastest in Kyo. So, a formal invitation. The bridge in Rakugai, huh? Might as well see this through. These motherfuckers think they're Sonic with the mail. That's crazy. They didn't know I'm Super Sonic. That's even crazier. Oh my goodness! I never checked out the interior after I redesigned it. Holy shit. Hold on a sec. Ginseng? Yeah, why do I want so much for ginseng? Here you go. Any five dishes? Ah, uh, not yet. I will pay you $2,000 for one unit of ginseng. I've got to make like four orders of pickles. I know they're delicious. I made them. I wonder if I can just mash this out. Oh, I can't. How excited he gets. Oh, we got chops a chops a cucumber. Yours. <laughs> he really puts his all into everything. The mealtime messiah. Oh fuck. What a title.
Cupid, I think, like, j almost just before you got here. We ran into some dude who's like, man, all I ever wanted in my life was to eat a homemade bento from a loving wife. Made made with care, made with love from a, a loving wife. And then, like, he married some woman, but he's like, yeah, I'm married, but then I found out my wife can't cook and is lazy, so... <laughs> So I never got to I never got to try homemade food made with love made with loving care by a loving wife. <laughs> Hold on, I might be able to use this fertilizer again. No, I don't want to pray. So we fed him some homemade pickles and he's like, can you do this at least four more times for me? And it's like, okay. Yeah, sure, man. So I've got five orders of homemade pickles in my inventory. <laughs> They're almost done. Oh, that ginseng is going to take a while. Where are the three of them there? There's four. Fuck. All right. I'm leaving. I got the pickles, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't know, it could take more than four orders. The bar filled up a good amount the first time, but that was just the first time, so I don't know. I don't know if anything else is gonna happen. Uh, let me see, there was something up here. But he was like, I didn't know the woman I married was gonna be lazy and an awful cook. <laughs> It's the, it's the terrible cook part that's really crazy. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this get up. This mother... Mm. <laughs> Inch takes, yeah. It was crazy, too, because we just, we just saw him, like... Uh, like standing by standing by a lake just kind of looking out into the lake like this would be a good spot to eat a bento if i had one <laughs> too bad my wife's a terrible cook and lazy <laughs> and i was like bro we just met you why did you give me all that information not bad could be worse this motherfucker from great britain look at his get up he is not from around here. Shodo Sos Mans? Oh, hold on a sec. Somebody running up on me. Oh. I'm not even focused on you right now. Are oh, you not done? Get out of here. Try it again. Oh. God, that's so brutal. <laughs> Man with accent. Ch Choro Soy Masin. <laughs> Please, I have something to ask you, son. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> an English person in an RGG game. Oh no. <laughs> huh? What did you? Oh, a goddamn foreigner! <laughs> Oi, take a look at this blondie samurai get up. 
Hey, Gaijin. We got a saying here in Japan. Fine feathers make fine birds. And you're one pretty chick. I'm sorry. I don't understand. But your swords. Are you samurai? <laughs> samurai? Not <laughs> samurai. <laughs> yeah, we're samurai, all right. What of it? Please. Please apprentice me, Kodasai. <laughs> Oh my god, this motherfucker is straight off the plane. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe this guy's for real. I know I shouldn't cackle right in somebody's face, but <laughs> but shit. <laughs> Why do you laugh? <laughs> But why, why do you laugh? Come on, Blondie. No foreigner is ever going to become a samurai. Ah, oh, man. What a riot. Let's get out of here. Mate, mate, mate. Wait. I beg of you, son. I want nothing but to walk the path of Bushido. <laughs> Please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. <sighs> Bushido <laughs> spelled with two E's. I love that. You know, I'm starting to think you're the one making fun of us. Make fun of samurai? I would never. <laughs> a lot of things may be changing these days, but the world will never be ready for a blonde haired, blue eyed samurai, okay? Damn, bro. Damn, go back to where you came from, Gaijin. No, I will not go back. I will find a master and become Samurai Desu. <laughs> Every time he talks, I get more and more pissed off. You know what we do to over... Wait, what is this? Over-enunciating foreigners around here? Get going. I... I will not... I'm about to see if this guy bleeds blonde. A samurai would never run away, even in death's face. Say sayonara, asshole. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. <laughs> who the hell are you? I'm someone who just kept you from murdering an innocent man. <laughs> Get. Oh, God. Ah, shit. Look at him. I figured he'd run away. If you really are a samurai, you should know better than to draw your sword so recklessly. Whatever. I don't need this shit. Let's go. Oh, no fight? Okay. Ah, oh my god. Arigado gozaimasu. <laughs> Man, the localization team did such a good job with this text, bro. <laughs> Arigado gozaimasu. <laughs> the city can be dangerous. Take care of yourself. Please, mate. <laughs> Watashi Tom Desu, please tell me your name. <laughs> oh, Lord. So I guess his name is Tom. Saito. Saving the weak from the strong. You are true samurai, Saito-san. Kudasai, apprentice me. 
the way of the samurai. Oh, shit. I don't have time for anything like that. Please, I must become a samurai. You nearly got yourself killed just now. Why are you so fixated on this? I... I was robbed by a group soon after I entered this country. They took from me everything of value I had, then threatened to kill me with their katana blades. <laughs> I don't know why I was just saying, saying the, the phrase katana blades it makes me crack up. And then a man with two swords came from nowhere to my rescue. A samurai? So, Desu. This samurai moved like a furious storm and slayed these men, a hero of justice. Before that day, I was full of worry in coming to Japan. I doubted I could survive in such a strange land. But the experience I had awoke me with shock. I decided then to become a samurai. I would too save the weak from the strong, like I was saved. I see. But being a member of the samurai is something you typically have to inherit. I know this, but I will do anything. Anything to become a samurai. I have trained my sword, but my technique requires tutelage. Please, Saito-san, make me your apprentice. He's certainly passionate. If I tell him no, he'll probably just keep asking others. I'd rather you not go around begging samurai for mentorship until one of them finally kills you. I don't take apprentices. But I can give you some training. Ugh. Saito san, really? You've made me happy. Arigado gozaimasu. So can we begin now, Sensei? Oh lordy. Alright, follow me. There's a dojo not too far from here. Follow me. Hi. <laughs> this motherfucker, man. Hold on a sec. Can I? Oh yeah, I can pause. I need to go to the bathroom real quick.
I've returned. <clears throat> oh, God, let's see. All right, what are we dealing with here? <clears throat> you said you've been training on your own, right? Are you ready? Yes, Sensei. I am sure to have much to learn still, but I will show you what I can do. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, how bad or good is this guy? Foreign man. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Finish. Finish. Okay. Basic attacks. Hmm. Damn, Tom. Get up, Tom. <laughs> Did he get up and say shit? Come on. I gotta see. <laughs> He's definitely... Shit. <laughs> I gotta hit him with this. Fool! <laughs> I was awful. I stand no chance against you. <laughs> Is this because I am not Japanese? <laughs> Come on, Tom. Because of the time period this is set in, we, we're looking at, like, one of the first weebs in history. Oh, God. I have trained, but you are so much stronger, Sensei. <sighs> Tom, who you been training with? Please, how can I improve my way with the sword? To be honest, Tom, I sense a lot of doubt from you. Doubt, Sensei? Uh. You told me that you were willing to do anything to become a samurai, right? Yes. Hi. Anything. I get the feeling that somewhere deep in your heart, you've already given up because you're not Japanese. You are correct. Absolutely. Part of me has told myself the reason I have not succeeded is because of my nationality. And you saw this doubt in my very swordplay. I am truly embarrassed. Tom, you have a choice to make. You can stay the course and keep training to become a samurai. Or decide right now that it's not to be and walk away. I'm willing to work with you. But there's also strength to be found in knowing when to quit. <laughs> just, just get a gun like any Englishman. <laughs> Sensei. I cannot give up. I have nothing to give up. I will not walk away from my dream until I have tried. Tried so many times that nothing remains inside of me. All right. There will be no more doubt in my sword. Japanese or not, I will become a samurai. But my technique is still very far below yours. I should train on my own until I am ready once more. When I return to the front of this dojo, it will be to ask you to face me again. Okay. Just remember, this place is only available to us during the day. Then I will train by myself in the nighttime, and return here by the sun. Until then, Sensei. Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> hmm. He really is dedicated. Sayonara. All right. There was somebody. I needed to see a man about a thing and a place. Ah, this is where. Okay. That was. That was definitely the start of something. Can I move you? Okay. So that's. 
basically all I have to do. No, stop snickering. Oh my goodness. Stand up. Break it up, break it up. These motherfuckers. <clears throat> it's about time. I was beginning to think you were too scared to come. Sending a letter to my home? Is that how couriers do things? I had to be very clever about where we'll compete. This is an area I know quite well. If you're only willing to race on your home turf, maybe you're the one who's scared. Tell yourself that. Fact is, I'm the playmaker. I'll do anything that improves my chances of victory. I studied every move you made against these two. I know all your tricks. And after calculating our race down to the finest detail, I determine you have no chance of beating me. This is gonna sound even more hilarious when you lose. Tch. That's a statistical impossibility. My strategy always work. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Bro, imagine having beef with the mailman. Flip side of that, imagine being the mailman and having beef with like just a regular ass dude. Damn, they moved the dead body that was in the street so we could have this race. <laughs> Easy. 
This can't be! My calculations! No way. He even beat an Emoto-san. The Saito guy is unreal. Explain yourself this instant. Oh no. Chief! I, I, I must have made a mistake. I'm sorry. Not only must I watch you lose in disgrace, I am to hear your pitiful excuses as well. You're fired. Get out of my sight. God damn. No, he's out of a job. Shit, man. But we've worked together for so long. I've been with the Panther since the beginning. Go drown that sentimental rubbish in the Kamo. Hoshi, Mikino, you're both fired as well. You're all disgraces. <laughs> no. <laughs> she handing out pink slips like crazy. Just like that. <laughs> you impress me, Saito-san. How I wish you had accepted my offer to join us. The next race will be your last. I vow we will leave you in utter shambles. The Black Panther Couriers are the fastest in Keo. <laughs> hey, are you all right? I just saw you lose your job, bro. <laughs> I think so. Our company has no room for the slow. I knew that. But still never believed she'd really fire me. Why is Hirakawa so obsessed with being the fastest in Kyo? She wasn't always like this. Really. Everything changed after her husband's death, of course. Her husband? That's right. Hirakawa-san was the only one who was the one who originally founded the Black Panther Couriers. Our boss. He was a legend in our industry. His feet earned him the title, the fastest in Kyo. Hmm. The Panthers inherited that reputation from him. Once we formed a team. We had good, cu we had good customer service too back then. It wasn't long before we were the top couriers in the city. And the chief, she always looked so happy. I wanted those days to last forever. They couldn't, though. Not after the boss was killed. Killed? Who did him in? There was a rookie on the team. Got sent out on a delivery to this famous bloodthirsty samurai. But he was slow. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on a sec. But he was slow. <laughs> when he arrived late, the samurai was furious. He attacked the kid with a sword, and the boss jumped in to defend him. So, Hirakawa thinks that if delivery hadn't been late, her husband would still be alive. <laughs> Ever since then, things have been different. She fired everyone who was too slow on their feet. All she cared about was preserving the image that the boss had. Fastest in Kyo. <laughs> of course... Once we started ignoring every other aspect of customer service, our reputation fell. So the chief came up with the idea of challenging other couriers and shaming them out of the market. That's why you all started raising your competitors? Understand, the Black Panther couriers are the one memento she has of the boss. She'll do anything to protect his legacy. Saito-san, I have to ask you for a favor. What is it? Please, help our chief. I know that deep down she's suffering. Being the fastest in Kiyo is no longer a source of pride. It's become a nightmare, haunting her. So I need you, once and for all, to crush the Black Panther carriers. This is really what you want? This area is where I used to beg. The chief found me starving here one day, and she saved me. I never felt and I never met anyone so kind. I thought I was repaying her, keeping the Panthers fast. Losing to you made me realize I was wrong. I want the old chief back. What about you two? 
Inamoto's right. I want her back too. Please, Saito-san. For all of us. I understand. If you can beat Takeda, the Panthers will collapse. There's no one faster than him. To this day, he's the only one whose feet could reach the same speed as the boss's. Maybe if the Chi sees him lose, she might finally wake up from this nightmare. Takeda-san will be near the Uji River in Fushimi. We're counting on you, Saito-san. Oh. I can't believe you were late with my mail. Die. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. While I'm here. Billbug? Nice. Hey man, you want some homemade pickles? Ah, the lucky man with a bento, made with care, by his loving wife. Looks like he's still here. Should I share my food with him? Let's eat. What do I want to eat? Yeah, I have more today. You want some? Really? Your wife's homemade bento? Woohoo! Thank you so much. A bento made with care by a loving wife. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. I just can't bring myself to break it to him. Such beautiful colors and so nutritious. Nothing could be better than a bento made with care. By a loving wife, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Ah, if only I could have married someone who cooked like this. Yeah, the chance to tell him the truth has definitely passed. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> a bento made with care by a loving wife. Oh, wait, it's the fucking uh, samurai, dude. Sensei, it has been too long. Please, may we train? Let's train, Tom. Arigato gozaimasu. Your expression has changed. I don't sense any doubt from you today. Hi. To purge myself of the hesitance, I have swung my katana 10,000 times under the light of the moon. Damn, son. Okay, so, ready to go? Yes, sensei. I know I am still weak, but please allow me this chance to fight you. Hmm. Okay, that's a new technique. Okay, he's doing new stuff. Ah, he's learning.
I lost once again. You're too strong, Sensei. Your skills have really improved since last time. <clears throat> Damn. Really? I'm happy to hear that. But I know that is not enough. At this rate, I can never catch up to you. After how much I've trained, I cannot help but be disappointed in myself. I can tell you've put in effort. This isn't something you can learn in a matter of days. That is so. Yet, still, I am frustrated. Sensei, I am joking. I promise I will not be discouraged. No matter how long it takes, I will prove that a gaijin can become a samurai. I will return again once I have trained. Thank you for facing me. A gaijin? Don't push yourself too hard, Tom. <clears throat> All right, wait, uh, the Yuji River. So they should be in the back somewhere, right? All right. To be back here somewhere, I'm guessing. Yeah, there they are. Alright, I can't do it. Takeda san, you really know how to get everything right where it's going. Amazing deliveries today, Takeda san. Can't wait to have you fill up my post box. Oh, hold on. Hey, chill out. Big package fans, girls. Hey, you two are pretty cute. Why don't we all go somewhere for a bit of shipping and handling? Not the fucking. Hurry your sex innuendo. That's Takeda, the Black Panther Courier's lady killer. Hey, I'm here to cock block you. <laughs> Remember me? Hmm? Yeah, of course. Uh, what was it again? Saibo? Huh? Hey, whoever you are, stop bothering Takeda san. Yeah, stop bothering Takeda San, whoever you are. Hmm, <laughs> it's coming back to me. Right, you own that gambling den, don't you? Yeah. Try again. <laughs> I'm screwing with you, Saito san. You think I wouldn't know the guy that's been dismantling my whole team? Things have changed. It's time for you and me to finish this. You don't say. All right, let's do it, kid. I hate to make the ladies wait, but sooner or later, they've always got to learn I'm a carrier, not a marrier. Ah, uh, we get to watch the Kata-san race. I'll be sure to admire your male physique. 
Good luck, Takeda san. Win, and I'll let you lick me like an envelope. Hey, yo! Chill out. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of hard to focus with them here. Right? They're just being horny on the sidelines. <laughs> you think? That's what would get me fired up on this job. Look, here comes another beautiful spectator. Hmm? <laughs> Saito-san, hi! It's Kiyokawa. And now he was your type. Not him! Hey, loser! Skedaddle! Eh? Huh? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> Oh, me. Sorry. Oh. Hirakawa. Surely you knew I would come, Saito-san, to witness your defeat for myself. If I win, the Black Panther Couriers have no more right to claim they're the fastest in Kyo. Yes, that would be so. However... You'll never outrun Takeda kun. He's the only man as fast as my husband. Now, Takeda kun, crush this insect. Secure Panther's legacy once and for all. Of course, Hirokawa chan. I expect a bonus for winning, though. Got a big sakai tab I need to pay off. <laughs> Let's do this, Saito san. Sooner I beat you, sooner I can visit my local post orifice? Chill out. This man is horny, horny. They're all horny. Hey, what's up? Yo, he is spinning. Oh my god, he got stuck. <laughs> he just keeps going, that's two letters. You watching, girls? That's crazy. <laughs> and bro remember during the race when you got stuck and spun in place for like 50 seconds that was crazy <laughs> holy heck he won Saito-san defeated all the Black Panther couriers no it's not possible ever since my husband We've been the fastest in Kyo. Dear, forgive me. Forgive me. I couldn't protect your legacy. <laughs> Takeda, you're fired. <laughs> hey, you're a coward, chan I think it's time to call it a day. What? I can't bear to see you like this anymore. As long as the Panthers keep going. You'll never be free of the burden of being the fastest in Kyo. So, I say we pack it in. But, what will I do? I've lost my husband. If I lose my company, I'll have nothing. You'll have us. Right, guys? Huh? We'll always be there for you, Chief. This was never about being the fastest delivery man for us. 
All we wanted was to make you happy. Always. Boss never would have wanted you to suffer like this. You mattered more to him than the company ever did. I say, we make a new company. The kind of courier service that always remembers to put its customers first. How about the Hirokawa Post? Takeda kun. All of you. Thank you. Don't cry, Chief. Your tears shouldn't run. We'll take care of that. <laughs> Maybe that should be, maybe that could be our new slogan. This is a good thing, isn't it, Saito-san? Yeah, I think Hirokawa's husband would be happy too. He's looking down on us from that mailbox in the sky. <laughs> Saito-san, this is from all of us. Consider it an apology, and a thank you. Great serpent skin. I don't know where you got this, but I'll take it. I have to ask. Where did the fuck did you get this great serpent skin? <laughs> I have to ask. Did you all lose to me on purpose? Eh? I'm no courier. And by losing, it seems like you were able to come together and get what you really wanted. Interesting theory. <laughs> but hey, what's done is done. All's well that ends well, right? It's been too long since we've seen her smile. She's beautiful when she laughs, isn't she? Uh. Yeah, she is. Thank you, Saito-san. I hope I see you around again someday. <laughs> I expect you to make the Hirokawa post a service to be proud of. You got my word on that. <laughs> so, how's it feel to be the fastest man in all of Kyo? You work up a thirst? I'll join you for a drink if you're buying. Yeah. That's all right. Huh? Fine, we'll split it. Twist my arm, why don't you? You already twisted my ankle, after all. In return, you help me with more deliveries in the future. Yeah. I don't think so. Ah, huh? oh, come on. Oh, Saito-san. If you're out for a drink, I'll come along. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? <laughs> Never mind that. I'm thirsty. And then they all lived happily ever after. Let me go to this shrine. Wait, where is he? Yeah, there he is. Okay. We've still got more to teach Tom. Oh, boy. All spears? That just sucks, huh? He's dead. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm trying to hit this tiger drop. You motherfucker. Get out of here. Corner shot.
What the hell? So weird. Oh no, the kids found him. <laughs> oh, they're cooking his ass. I can already tell. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Is that Tom? <laughs> oh no, foreigners can't be samurai, doofus. That that's not true. Anyone can walk the path of the Bushido. Did he just say Bushido? Oh my gosh. Samurai can't be blonde. You look like a training dummy, dummy. Damn. Hey, cooking his ass. You kids, you kids really think no matter how much someone devotes themselves to becoming a samurai. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's go run around somewhere. Damn, you look like a training dummy, dummy. <laughs> now he's sad. <laughs> These kids tore him apart. Oh, sensei. Everything all right, Tom? Why would you ask me this? Is my face looking strange? Thank you for showing me your concern. I am fine, Desu. <laughs> hmm. Sensei, may we train? Yeah, let's train, man. Sure. Let's train, Tom. Come into the dojo. Hi! Arigato, Sensei! Arigato. <laughs> Have you been training, Tom? Of course, Sensei. Let's go. Oh, he got a boss health bar now. He's stepping up. Okay. I'm peeping your techniques, Tom. I see you out here. Mm-hmm. Oh, he learned how to guard. Oh, my God. Phew. Thank you once again for sparring with me. You're getting pretty formidable. Do you think so? Your praise means everything to me, Sensei. But I'm still not good enough. Mm -hmm. hmm? Are you joking again? Not this time. Ever since you saw the doubt inside of me, I have been trying to cut it down by swinging my katana. But it seems the more I swing, the more I doubt that I am walking the right path. Or if my path will ever reach its destination. Can there be such a thing as a Gaijin Samurai? All my work has yet to prove so. Hmm. As long as my sword wavers in this way, I will never achieve my dream. Tong. Sensei, please forgive me. I do not think I'll be coming back to this dojo for some time. What do you mean? I wish to lay down my sword and contemplate if this is truly the path for me. All right, I understand. I hope that if I regain my resolve, you'll still be willing to train me. <laughs> it's no problem. I'll be here. Thank you, Sensei. Goodbye. So Tom might not come back for a while at least. I think I might actually miss him. Oh. 
Sorry, I'm not interested in you. Ah, you son of a bitch. What's up? Feed this guy some more pickles. Wait a minute. Okay. Hey. <laughs> a lucky man with a bento, made with care by his loving wife. <clears throat> Looks like he's still here. Give him some pickles. Premium homemade pickles. <clears throat> a bento made with care by a loving wife. time I show up he's like woe is me only if I married somebody who knew how to cook <laughs> and does your wife know you're out here eating another man's cooking <laughs> what would she say if she knew I think we're about to slaughter some innocents. It's lit. out of here. Alright. Um eh. no actually it is close. Hold on a second. Let me go back. Let me go back. of virtue give me this fucking die fuku uh more blue Do i just want blue there's a problem i think i'm fine with 
Red. <clears throat> oh right, that swordsman's technique. Fuck, I forgot. Gotta break people's guards. Alright. Now we're about to go slaughter some innocents. Or at least be accomplices. Modotaka, Saito Kun. Show the Hanashinga Nanda Kin no Shishtach no Kaigo Basanga, Kansat no Shirabede, Nikashoni Kohonga Shiborareta Ikedayato, Shikokuya Tiadoda.連中はそのどちらかで会合を持つ。そうか。どっちかはっきりするまでは対を二手に分けて襲撃の手はずを進める。君の三番隊は私と一緒に行動してもらう。ああ。金の獅子が集まるのは池田屋か四国屋か。君
Let's see about these missions. Trooper combat training. I what we get broken off fluoride, silver scrap, gold nugget, new screw. <clears throat> You wish. Hold on a sec, did I forget something back here? I'm not tripping. Okay, I'm tripping. Sick obsidian chunk, dude. Hmm? 
Ah. There we go. Flash Ray, hmm. <sighs> Defeat the Spear Squad? Oh god, it's an entire squad of fucking Spear users. Oh god, this is gonna be something. So then I just started blasting. Not much. There must be a way out. Ah, uh, damn.
Ah. I don't think I've ever faced a boss character with a spear before. Oh, God. It's like where where's dude at? There he is. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't guard low. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick again, and I'll be right back.
have returned. Ah, uh, oh. Okay. All right. Hmm. That's me. わしは起きたらと一緒に池田屋をやる。相手は そんなに怖がることはない。副長が君を呼んでる。うん。すぐにドゾーへ来いとな。Warehouse hmm. toward the back of the barracks. こっちだ。斉藤君。こいつは。ああ。ガイデトーチ。こいつが噂の古高俊太郎へ。ほんまさか。あ、let uh, fucking nothing, I guess. Huh? Mm. Humorai de. Hajime chan mo itabutte mi. So, so na. Mo yamete kure. Yamete hoshi kereba mo ichido da furutaka. So kono Saito kun ni mo sakki no hanashi o shite yare. あ、一味の人数は少なくとも40名。オッケー。You okay. けんも相当の腕やが、それ以上に逃げ足が早い。ついた<笑> ここにいる一斉に新選組の大使が頓所から出るや襲撃を感づかれる頓所を出るときは一人ずつだその後はそれぞれ持ち場の宿へ行って待機してろいいなあ、ウィアンムーフ
Eyes. Damn, five of them? All right. I see we read it a pounce. Saito Kun. I'm a midday or three, Scoquia and Nakai Caseta. She's the monocaigo, Miss Catara is or you push the group. ここが当たりか外れか金の派の会合が池田屋の方だったら全員で向こうに走る羽目になる分かっているさすがに落ち着いたものだな随分爆発を踏んでいるらしいところで松原と何かあったかどうしてそんなことを聞くいや松原がやけに君のことを私に聞きに来たので少し気になってなうんなあ一つ聞かせてくれるか君はなぜ新選組に入隊してきた I know そういうのに入隊する前に聞くもんだなるほどこれから入ってくるやつにはそうしよう大した理由はない他に行くところがなかっただけだそうかな君ほどの腕があればどの藩の勤王志士にも歓迎されるはずだ勤王だろうが幕府の犬だろうがどっちでもいい俺を高く買ってくれるところへ行くまでだ<笑>なるほど君の考えは簡潔でよいスーパーマンその点では私と似ていると言えるなん聞いているかもしれんが私はもともと百姓の出だ局長の近藤さんもなそうだったのかうん三百年前の祖先が百姓だったというだけで父も祖父も剣を持つことを許されなかった私もガキの頃は一生百姓のまま終わるもんだと思っていた黒船が来て以来すべてが変わった本物の脅威を目前にして本当に強いものが必要とされる時代になったんだ力さえあれば百姓でも志を持つことが許される志近藤勇にはそれがあった私はそれを支えるために剣を振るい新選組を鍛え続けている幕府のためにかいやこの国を守るためにだ何いずれ君にも話せる時が来るだろう私はこれでも君を高く評価しているんだだが今はとにかく私のやり方についてきてほしいと思ってるうん余計なことは考えず
人を切れってことかそれが武士の本分ってもんじゃないのかそういやそうだったな<笑>日程が戻ってきたな副長四国屋に不審はないようです勤皇志士たちはいる気配もありませんとするとこっちは外れか<笑>池田屋です獅子の会合は池田屋聞いたな全員池田屋だ<笑> How could we not hear it? He was yelling it Oh, hello, you're gold. I think. Maybe it's a trick of light. Uh, the jump in the air is so crazy. Guess he was unable to convince the Tuchi. Toshimaru and the other Soleil low. Or, Shishinkumi moved so quickly he had no time to warn them. Saito Gun, what are you doing?
Ugh. Upstairs. Oh my god. Yo, is that? Oh my God, it is him. Shimano. Yoshida Toshimaru. Nadaudo. Koi tsu ga kyo o yakou to shite iru oya dama tte o waki ka. Nagura sagatta. Koi tsu wa ore ga hiki ukita. Oh no. Let me get let me get this off. Oh god. Okay, okay. I'm not going to get it off. He got the armor on. Woo! Oh. Nigoto ya Saito. が想像しとった以上かもしれんな。せやけど、まだカツラ小五郎が残っとる。奴を捕まえへんうちは何もおらへん。カツラを探すんや。Come on out, bro. Oh. He grabbed me just like that. You put the gun. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> 
父さん僕にカツラなんて俺たちじゃ手に負えません早く行ってやってくださいうん Oh my god <laughs> I to deal with you first, you AI slash motherfucker. Who's in here? <gasps> Just behind the sliding door. The one with the Sakura storm painted on it. Please, take him down, Captain. Noted. Oh my lot not the fucking spearman. Someone else pulls me into a room. He's got a gun. Oh, they all have guns, I think. What's up? See you later. It's Akiyama. It's him. Or Nibori. Saito san. Nibori. Matsuke. Hey. Yoku ano gime ovoite de kuretane. Memo. Kyo a homio na notte oita hoga yosa soda. Kona jo kyo de kakushite mo shikata nai shne. Masaka. Antaga. Come on. ちょっと危険な長州藩の舵取り役、桂小五郎、よろしく。あんたが、桂。<笑>そういうこと。どうしてあんたほど切れる男が、こんな無謀な計画を立てたんだ。ああ
やっぱりそういうことになっちゃってんだ実はそれ誤解なんだよなんだといや俺は必死に豊島のさんを止めたんだよこんな計画やめなさいってでも全く聞き入れてもらえなくてねただでさえ好戦的な長州の連中に加えて今回は土佐や肥後のやつらまで加わったもんだから大変なことになっちゃってで仕方ないからあんたんとこの監察さんに古高のことを見つけてもらうように仕向けたってわけじゃあ山崎に情報をつかませたのはあんたの仕業だったってのか彼には悪いことをした辛い拷問にもあったに違いないでも今日の町を焼いちまうってのよりはマシだと思ってたんだが、うん、今度は自分の身も危なくなっちまったなあ、斉藤さんよ。人間ってのは命あってのものだれだ。どうか、ここは見逃してもらえないか。あんた。俺の話を全部信じてくれとは言わない。でもさ、無駄な殺し合いしたってこの国は良くならない。それにあんただって、土佐に戻ってやらなきゃいけないことがあるんじゃないのか。武智さんだって、それを望んでるはずだ。タケチあんたなんでその名をなんでってだってあんた坂本龍馬さんなんだろうタケチさんから大体のことは聞いてる。If anybody else hear that? に入った理由も知ってる。だからあんたが俺を殺す理由はないはずだ。どういうことなんだゆっくり話を聞かせて。えいよ不意打ちか。俺もまあまあこそこの手は使うけど、そんなことはしない。おしょ。あ、oh, they they、そいつがカツラコグロへ悪いがここで死ぬわけにはいかないんだよというわけでよろしく。Let's put on a good show. この国を売れる熱き思い。分かってくれるよね。あ,あ、よくわかった。長倉。こいつは俺の獲物だ。手出しは無用に頼む。なんやぞ。上等。Alright, let's put on a good show. I'm gonna slash you up a little bit, but it's okay. What was that? <laughs> oh, I was right there. Damn, hold on. The inspiration is striking. God damn. We're putting on a show. We're putting on a show. That's all.
Hey, what's up, dog? We're putting on a show. Eternal gold? What is that? Slippery. I mean, but did you think you had a chance though? That other guy bounced your shit pretty hard. I don't know. Man, the scene is crazy. <laughs> they all just hanging out. でも他の獅子たちは切るなり捕らえるなりできたんです。ま、上々じゃないんですか。うん。それに他の収穫もあった。あ何のことや。ダブアフターダブの中に金の葉の患者が紛れ込んでいるのが分かったということだ。あお。
君がカラスという男と接触していたのは新選組に入隊する前なのだろう。That's true. ならばそのことを追求するつもりはない。Okay. They got crazy information. の道場で腕の立つ剣士が天然離心流を探している。そんな情報が私の耳に入らないとでも思っていたのか離心流を追うことは罪ではない。その類いまれな剣の腕を新選組のために使ってくれるのなら、私は君を疑うようなことはしたくないのだ、斎藤君。この長州の患者を切り、そのことを証明していただきたい。さあ。Oh, I, I mean, I guess better your sword than mine, huh? Tama no Hexo Fuzega Yikiari Yate Kondo Isami Mita in a Gakumo Kyo Mosin Nemo Nayo or Otoni Tsikistaga or Mari. So she got it at Tabarga Karaska Kita Zay. Oh, my God. 新選組に入った本当の目的は。源さん。局長と玉を愚弄され。黙っているわけにはいかない。He said I couldn't take it anymore. I had to cut that nigga down. 邪魔をしてすまなかったな。頭に血が昇ってしまったようだ。火の上。なあ、ヒノさん。よし、じゃあ、そろそろ帰るか。よし、well、that's done。くたくたですしね。ふふふふ。褒美の取り分も増えるってもんやね。おお、そらそうだ。あんた、頭いいね。That's another captain down. Sigiva, take you to Rino Gascot on a you, Tanomimasio. Well, about time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> He's suspicious. For the Shinsen Gumichu Soski Utagawaski was Shukse Sri. For you, my own Shukse Stonai. Do you in the Sigini take you in a stocky? What do I got on you in your mock yard? He could tell. He's like, this motherfucker usually ain't this bad. Ain't no way. <laughs> that was close. He's like, I seen way better sword play from this guy. Ain't no way he just dog water. Tosa was a punch that you know. Yoshida Toyo answers the Fukumen no Toko Saito Hajime no Nade, Shin Sengumi Sent Pukistate Tegakariwa Toyo Satsugai Staken Tenen Lishin Yu Sono Sky Tedder of Fukumen no Tokoa Shin Sengumi no Kosan Kambu Tachi no Nata Nishondi Hazda. Yoma, Shin Sengumi to stay. Chini Mamirita Nimmin, Mioshi's Nate. Nogini, Ikeda Yazikan to Yobarel Kin no Shishi no Shugikiva. Ichia ni stay. Shin Sengumi no now Todoro Kaseta. Hm. Nanga, Fukumen no Tokoni Motomo Chikai to Moare Kyokcho. Kondo is a Miwa. Mada Sugata or Arawasana. The two Riomas. 
これはこれは勝先生。幕府のお偉いさんがこそこそおいでになるとは。ここらで薩摩にくら替えでもする気でっか。あんたに身の振り方相談するためにわざわざ今日まで来たわけじゃない。いつまでたっても動かない。薩摩芋の尻を叩きに来てやったんだよ。カツーリンタロー。相変わらずやねカズハは理想だけの長州が突っ走ったところで幕府は倒れないこれからは薩摩の武力がものを言う局面だとても幕府の人が口にするセリフとは思いまへんな今日は腹の探り合いはなしだ私が本当は幕府側の人間でないということは知っているのだまなんとなくはこれまで上の連中に異国に負けない国づくりを訴え続けてきたが奴らの固い頭は変わらないなら一層幕臣という立場を利用して幕府を中から破壊してやろうと思ってなほう<笑>手を組め最後うちにいる私と協力し外から幕府を叩くんだ幕府に戦争を仕掛けろチューンデッカああ戦争に勝った暁にはあんたは新しい国の頂点に立てる悪い話じゃないだろう俺に今日はあんたらが戦に勝てるようとっておきの武器を連れてきたわ武器この男はイギリスの武器商人と深いつながりがあってねうんその気になりゃ江戸城を一日で落とせるほどの武器弾薬を調達できる土佐脱藩老子坂本龍馬だ坂本龍馬うんシンセングミのトンションに行くのかああそれがどうかしたかちょっと気になることがあってななんだお前が池田屋で桂小五郎と話したって内容のことだ。やつは竹地からお前の素性を聞かされていたんだってな。ああ。だとすると、いずれ桂はお前の正体を新選組にばらしちまうんじゃないかどうしてそう思う所詮桂は長州の人間だ。その長州にとって新選組は天敵。三番隊の隊長が勤皇派の大物と兄弟分なんておいしいネタ放っておくはずがねえだろう奴が俺の素性を組に密告するとそうすりゃお前はマスバラの名前だ三番隊隊長は粛清長州にとっちゃ新選組の戦力ゲームは願ったり叶ったりのはずだカツラはそういう手を使う人間には見えなかったでもよどのみちカツラがどうでようが、俺が新選組の中で動ける時間は限られてる。どういうことだ俺が天然離心理を追っていることは、池田屋で幹部たち全員に知られた。ああ、そうだったな。今のところ新選組にとって俺は戦力になっている。少しでも必要とされている間は、粛清されることもないだろう。残された時間はあとわずかということかだから少し強引にでも覆面の男に迫る必要がある時間のある限り新選組に顔を出してあの男に近づかなければ近藤勇のことか
相変わらず接触できてないのかああ、トンショにもまるっきり顔を出さねえ。お前が見たとこ、一番怪しいのはやっぱり近藤か。東洋様をやった覆面の男は。さあな、だがそうでなかったとしても、近藤なら覆面の正体を知っているはずだ。ああ、天然離心流の元締めなわけだからだな。近藤も局長である以上、いつまでも姿見せねえってことはないだろう。He's gotta come out of this one day. 壊さないために。俺はなるべくトンショに顔を出すつもりだ。Off to the barracks. The way to meet Kondo. I need to figure out a way to meet Kondo. Even if he's not there, the barracks are still my best bet. Hold on. Let's, uh, no. Maybe, yeah, let's check. See if he's over there. Curious man. Hey, you heard about the black ships, right? Yeah, the big ones that came from overseas. Apparently, the crew is demanding we open up the country. That's right. It's all true, you know. My pops was close to the port where they arrived, saw him with his own two eyes. Things are so enormous, they nearly blotted out the horizon. Yeah, don't they have big cannons too? Who wouldn't be shocked knowing those things could kill your whole town? Guess my pops and all his neighbors should consider themselves lucky, eh? Invasion of the black ships? Come now. Oh, right. I need to go back to Gion and check up on that.
Oh god. Child hating samurai. You little shit. That hurt. Hmm? What's going on? Your parents just let you run around town stepping on people's toes? Sorry, mister. Oh, don't you give me that sorry bullshit. I know how you brats operate. You feed me an apology, then walk away, laughing at the old geezer with the unfaithful wife. Damn, bro. Damn, I don't. Why'd you let that slip? What? Why nobody even talking about your unfaithful wife? A lot of guys with wife issues in this town. Huh? I I don't understand. I bet you don't. Man, I'm pissed. All right, hit you was getting a good hard whack, and we'll be even. He's really projected, bro. It's oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You feed me an apology and then walk away and laugh because I'm a cuck. <laughs> Just like. All right, man. What? Please, mister. No, we're really sorry. Stop crying. I hate children who cry most of all. I'll give you something to really cry about. Yo, it's Tom. <laughs> He's here to save these kids. Let's go. Let's go, Tom. All right. <laughs> huh? You say something, foreigner? They're just children, friend. You scared them halfway to death. Excuse me? I don't know what boat you just stumbled off of, but beat feet, straw hair. Down in Kyo, samurai make the rules. You, a samurai? Don't make me laugh. You are trash. Huh. And what would some gaijin know about samurai? I suppose you think those dainty white feet of yours are fit for the path of the warrior. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> Beat feet? I know. I've never heard that expression. It's probably a, a pretty old one. You're the one unfit for the path. That's it. Boys, let's send stars and stripes here back home the hard way. Damn, he got boys? He got nine niggas? <laughs> hey, yo. Why? Why did they just pull up like that? You're telling me he was having a public dispute with these kids and they were just waiting? That's wild. Oh, for some kids, bro. <laughs> That is so crazy. It's like, a man, I can't wait till he calls a sin to beat up these fucking children. Holy shit. <laughs> Hear that? It's the sound of not a single tear being shed for another dead gaijin. Uh, Mr. Foreigner? Don't worry, kids. You just get back, okay? <laughs> no chilling. <laughs> kids just get beat by eight by nine grown ass men in this period <laughs> and don't nobody give a fuck uh, we're sorry alright they ran away 
I'm not running away. To protect the weak from the strong. That is my Bushido. We're gonna take our time with you. You'll regret ever coming to... Mind if I cut in? S sensei No more doubts, Tom. Not at all. Thanks to you. These men are the most disgraceful kind of samurai. I'd be an honor to help you dispatch them. The honor is mine, Sensei. Oh, would you both shut the hell up? Kill them! Damn, that's a whole lot of swords. Work them, Tom. You fool! Yeah, how you like getting jumped? Yo, fuck him up, Tom. Yo, fuck him up, Tom. <laughs> That's right, Tom. Fuck him up. <laughs> I won't forget this. Thank you, Sensei. I would not have had much of a chance on my own. <laughs> Though, with all this time, I'm still nothing compared to you. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Look. Oh, you guys. Uh, Mr. Foreigner? Thank you for saving us. Without you, we, we could have been killed by eight grown-ass men. <laughs> Nine grown-ass men. <laughs> Kids, it wasn't really me. If my sensei had not appeared, I would have probably been a thousand pieces by now. We, uh... Just say it already. Hmm? What is it? Mr. Foreigner... I'm really sorry. We're all sorry. We were really mean to you. We laughed at you for wanting to be a samurai. But you still came and rescued us. We were wrong, and we're sorry. Oh, now I do admit, my feelings were a little hurt. But you kids gave me the chance to feel like a true samurai in the end. <laughs> you did it, mister. You looked really cool, you know? Like, super strong. Yeah, you were just like a samurai. Really? Arigato gozaimasu. Color of your hair doesn't matter. You showed genuine courage, standing up to the strong to protect the weak. You're as noble as a samurai as I've ever met. You're right. Being a samurai is not a matter of where you were born, or what it is you look like. It's your heart and soul that make you a samurai, isn't it? Uh. Yeah, I think so. Sensei, I've decided to return to my home country. Oh? Why? I want to show the people there what it means to walk the warrior's path. That's where my Bushido is guiding me. Of course, that does not mean I have given up. After all, there are many roads a samurai can travel before they reach their destination. 
All that matters is staying true to your heart. Hmm. You're right about that. Hi. Well, as much as I would like to stay here and learn from you, I should be off. Thank you for everything, Sensei. Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara, Tom. <sighs> they really act like this whole town behind the Burger King. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? What's all the commotion? It's here! A black ship! What? Huh. <laughs> One rinky dink cannon on this fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, two in a row. The hits just keep coming. <laughs> it's got a cannon everything. That has to be it. It's one of the black ships. We're all going to die. Naval craft built in the Western world. The methods of their construction involve painting the hulls with black pitch, leading to an impressionable, uh, intimidating design that greatly contrasts Japanese shipbuilding techniques. <laughs> you serious? I knock, knock. Time to open the country. <laughs> No way, no way. Fuck, I've been I've been doing it all wrong. Fuck. Uh, uh knock knock. It's time to open the country. All right. What's he want with us? They're from Britain. Boy. Hey. You're not here to cause trouble, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's he doing? Huh? What's wrong? Someone help seasick. Very, very seasick. He's seasick. Sure hope this isn't an act. I suppose I could find a way to fix him up just in case. Now what could help him out here? Maybe these onlookers have some ideas. Hey, you know any cures for seasickness? This foreigner's in pretty bad shape. Ah, uh, let me think. Actually, my ma once said to drink sake. You will still be dizzy as all heck, but at least you won't be hurting. Ah, I get it. You fold in the nausea of seasickness with the nausea of being drunk. Not bad. I don't know if that's right. That's just double nausea. All right. Wait, what about you? Not a cure seasickness. I want to help out that foreigner. Cure seasickness. Mm, I don't know much about it, but I hear it's a good. Ex it's good to exercise. Exercise? Really? Yeah, like sweat the toxins out. Hey, you're a samurai. Maybe you can do a training session with him. That'll work up a sweat. Hmm. I don't know about sweating out the toxins, but giving him something else to focus on might not be a bad idea. I speak. What was this? Let's see if the exercising thing works out. Ugh. Severe headache, vision fading, all going dark. Help them sweat it out. All right, time for some training. What? Training? Yes, your heart is in chaos. But if you renew your focus, the sickness will depart. Discipline yourself with the sword. It's the Japanese way. Astonishing, you samurai. -a. <laughs> we just got a fucking... 
punch him. <laughs> Get ready. Is he holding a sword? What's up? Okay. <laughs> God damn, he fucking swinging wild as hell over here. He got nothing on my man Tom, though. Well, you feel better? Uh, now I'm ten times worse. Entire world spinning round and round it goes. Yeah, that was a wasted effort. Can't say I'm surprised. I need to figure out a cure for him. You guys should ask someone else. Hmm. I have asked all the onlookers I can ask. I just need to get some sake, I guess. Are the pub. A flower miller horn. Y'all got any uh, sake in the pawn shop? No. Oh, wait. You got sochu. That work? It says it's sake. Sake? Yeah. If you want to hide a tree, put it in a forest. If you want to hide seasickness, get drunk. It's the Japanese way. Ah, very deep. Japan, very deep. Mm. Oh, how's the sake treating you? Oh, entire world spinning round and round it goes. Uh, does that mean you liked it? Uh, danger, vomiting, imminent. Oh, that sure didn't work. And say I'm surprised. I'm fresh out of ideas, so maybe I should ask someone else. But who? You're no help. You're no help. Where are the other onlookers? Oh, I think this one right here. Yeah, you looking? Hey, you know any old time remedies for seasickness? Wanna <laughs> I want to cure that foreigner. Tea sickness, eh? Well, why not give the man an umiboshi? Umiboshi? Yeah, pop a plum in his mouth and he'll be right as rain. Just you wait. Though, I can't quite remember where I heard that. <laughs> hmm. Can umiboshi really cure seasickness? Maybe I should ask around for more opinions. He's like the last guy. You're the last guy looking around. Hold on a sec.
Let me see if I got one in storage. Uh, <laughs> nope. Another spearman? I hate y'all. I don't know where I go to buy those. I'm just gonna make one. And I literally have to do nothing. Archlaza. Eat this disgusting plum. What is this? Umeboshi. They're sour. Pickled plums. Supposedly they can cure seasickness. I'd say it's worth a try. Yes, please give me. Ah, it worked. I feel so much better. Thank you very much. And honestly, I wasn't too sure those would help, but I'm glad they did. Sir, I am forever grateful, but if you'll excuse me, I have errands to run. Uh. <laughs> you're going to need a Boy. wait, hon, are you getting right back on that plane or uh, on that boat? Oh, right. I wanted to ask you why you're here. Hmm. Ah, yes! It's all coming back to me. I'm here to open up the country. Open up the country? Now I see. You wanted to establish trade with us. Yes! Japan has so many wonderful things. I'd like to have some myself. Yeah? 
And what is it you want? But first, let me introduce myself. You can call me Monsieur Pony. <laughs> ah, I should have introduced myself as well. My name's Saito. Excellent. Now that that's out of the way, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> See, I was asking... Oh, uh, yeah. I was asking what you wanted from Japan. Oh, right, yes. I've been thinking about what I'd like to take home the most. And now that I have... And now I have discovered it. Okay. What is it? Umeboshi. Umeboshi. That's it? Yes! I've never eaten anything so mysterious yet packaged so conveniently. I want as much of it as I can get. All right. And I'll show you where it is. Ah, this is wonderful. Thanks to you, I've got more umiboshi than I can count. Hopefully you've got enough to last you the voyage home. Ha <laughs> ha, who knows? I may just scoff them all down before I reach land. <laughs> hmm? Uh-oh. Are you the one who's been secretly trading with foreigners? Foreigners are the enemy. We won't tolerate any who engage with them. So no true. Of all the times to run into extremists. Son of Joey, you say? I have a friend named Joey. Why are they mad? They want some umiboshi? <laughs> Japan's a complicated place right now. You should stay back. We'll kill you and the foreigner. Who needs traitors anyway? Damn, son. Not like this. Come here. Take a dip. Nope. Take a dip. See you later. Ah, damn. I didn't mean to do that. Get up. Uh. I love Tiger Drop. Look at you, Saito-san. I've never seen a samurai in action before. What a find, what a find. Sorry about them. You could say foreigners aren't very popular these days. We may be a good long way from truly opening up Japan. Think so? I think it'll all work out as long as folks like you are around. After all, it only takes a ripple to make a wave. That's true whether you're in Japan or my homeland. I hope you're right about that. At any rate, I'd like you to have this for your troubles. Thanks for the umiboshi, and for opening up, at least on a personal level. Goodbye, Mr. Saito. Uh. Goodbye, pony. Don't get too seasick now. Foreigners can sure be strange. But it'd be nice if there came a day when we could talk to them without fear or hostility. Huh. Mm. Okay, both of those. Both of those are solved. Alright. Instead of taking the palaquin, I'm just gonna walk there and see what happens on the way. Oh. Come on now.
Get up. Should probably check Makurogai. Bork, Bork. And that did no damage. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it's a shogi father, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what's up with this guy? Oh, he's chuckling and a snickering. Never mind. Haven't you heard? The ghost of a slain warrior haunts this street. What the? Ghost of a slain warrior? What are you on about? I'm talking about a warrior who was betrayed and then murdered. They say he appears at night and seeks out those who, those who are skilled swordsmen. But hardly anyone can hold their own against him. So he drags them away from the living world. Hmm. Sounds like a fairy tale if you ask me. It's real! A ton of our very best swordsmen have gone missing. How do you explain that, huh? Whatever. Even if what you're saying is true. I'm not a warrior, so what do I care? A slain warrior who challenges the living. Only at night? Pretty hard to believe. Oh, 
Only at night, eh? I'm not gonna be seeing them anytime soon. Wait. Did they just spawn in behind me? What the hell? Yeah, okay. Saito-san. I just got word from Green Ninja-san. Your suspicion about the doctor might just be correct. That doctor's not only met with Tojiro-san, but many other shinobi as well. Really? And anyone who met with him uh, supposedly started acting weird soon after. There's more trouble with the chivalry, within the chivalrous shinobi than Green Ninja-san can handle on his own. Taito-san, I'd like you to go to the ninja's hideout and see what's going on. Tojiro should be there, right? It might get rough. Your ninja-san said he'll be waiting for you at the north, uh, at north... Yashikimachi. He'll take you there, he'll take you to their hideout from there. As always, please check the crest board for, uh, before you go. And be careful. Chivalry Shinobi. Something wrong with Chivalry Shinobi's leader, Tanjiro. Green Ninja will meet me at North Yakushi Yashiki Machi in Fushima. Anything else? Okay. Just him? Alright. The pill bug. Saito-san, thank you for meeting me here. On behalf of the Shiro Shinobi, I apologize for troubling you. It's no problem. Can you lead the way? Certainly. Are you Tojiro? Uh... <clears throat> Who is this? Your fellow Shinobi are worried about you. I'd like you to step away from that incense and come outside. Ugh. Without this incense, Ohara will wither and die. Are you trying to take my sister away? It's no use trying to reason with him. Green Ninja, find Ohara. Take her into the fresh air. Right away. I can't let you stop him. This is a small space. Mm. 
Oh my god. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> and then I started blasting. Brother! Oharu, you're on your feet? I am. So please stop this. Tojiro sama. You must come to your senses. It's that doctor's incense. Ugh. My head. Take all of you back to Tachibana Gumi HQ, where you can recover. Right. Saito-san, I don't know how I can ever thank you. No need to thank me. I'm glad to see Ohara is doing better. She wasn't sick at all. What a relief. Well said, but that doctor is beyond forgiveness. That's right. I can't believe he lied to Tojiro-san and the rest of you, just to press you into robbing townsfolk. That doctor has to be the one pulling the strings. Can Tojiro or the others identify him? As expected, their memories aren't all there yet. It's gonna be hard getting any clues from them. I see. Well, let me know if anything turns up. Of course. Don't forget your reward. Money! The Shiver Shinobi owe you a great debt as well. Please, take this. Tear of the Dragon. Alright, man. We plan to return everything that we stole. Someday, we'll once more, uh, once more earn the right to call ourselves Shiver Shinobi. I don't doubt that. Good luck. Oh. Anything on the board, nothing's posted right now. Am he still here? All right. guy done for right now You just can't beat the power of bullets. <laughs> hmm.
Okay. Nothing down that way. Hmm. Now, these are guys who are going to engage me in a fight. That's all that is. Mm hmm. Ah, my lucky man with a bento, made with care, by his loving wife. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but it's pickles again. Amazing, every time. It tastes of thoughtfulness. Each speck of seasoning brims with care for one's beloved. I guess. There's not a doubt in his mind this was made by some wife he dreamed up. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you. Do you think it's possible for me to meet her? What? I know, it's a foolish request. Asking a man to introduce you to his wife. But when I eat her cooking with every bite... I'm simply overcome with these feelings of love. You should talk like that. You have a wife of your own. <laughs> oh, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not in love with your wife. I'm in love with her cooking. Please, e even just a glimpse. Won't you let me meet the person who made this incredible food? What in the hell do I do? He's backing me into a corner here. Let me think about it, okay? Of course. I know it's a lot to ask. But you don't understand what it means to me. I never told him I have a wife. But I still feel like I've been lying to him somehow. I'll let you know, alright? I'll be back with another bento at least, so we'll talk then. Mm. Thank you so much. And maybe I could just teach his wife how to cook. That would... I, I think that would solve some problems. the diary from the other day. Yes. I think the owner read my reply. Let's see how everything went. Lord. To the person who picked up this diary, do you think my troubles are normal? Or am I a fool? The diary writer was being tormented by unrequited love. So in reply, I said, Every type of love is precious. Don't give up. Even when things seem impossible. You might just get what you want. Yep, that's what I wrote. There's something new written in here. A response to my last entry. Thank you. I can't believe someone I don't even know is so supportive. You give me such courage. So I'm gonna hang in there just a little longer. Maybe all this agony will be worth it. Maybe it's a grand love story. I managed to inspire her and cheer her up. I'm pretty good at this. 
Now that she feels more positive about love, I'll tell her something else. Try getting to know him. Try to be more assertive. Try to change things up. I uh, be more assertive. Maybe you care about this person so much that you're neglecting yourself. Don't be a doormat. In love with the one stepping on you. When you're in a sword fight, you can sometimes win by just attacking relentlessly. Same concept might apply to romance. That's good advice, I think. Hope she gets my reply. Hmm, all right. Oh, all right. Eat this. Choto Matia. Please, forgive us. Damn you, stay right there. What? A peasant hag like you isn't fit to even breathe near me. How dare you dirty my clothes. And it seems she has no intent to apologize. Even more unforgivable. Please, my life, my, my wife lives with a heart so broken that she cannot speak. She was just trying to water the flowers. Please show us mercy. Please, please. Shut up with the excuses. It's time to punish you both now. Kazukichi, down. 
Disgusting mutt. Get away from me. No. No, this can't be happening. Did he kill that dog? Okay, now it's still alive. Uh... That's what happens to those who defy me. Now it's your turn. Mercy. Mercy. Stop. Who are you? Don't tell me you're here to try and play hero. I'll be a hero for anybody who's being abused. Look at you. You're no warrior. You're lower than that dog. The fuck? You think you can get away with insulting me? I'll impale you first then. Joshi scum. Hold on. Damn it. I want to make you eat this. There it is. Die. <laughs> He's too strong. You all right? Yes, we're fine, but not the dog. I wish I'd been here just a little bit earlier. No, no, you helped us immensely. Thank you. Kazukichi, Kazukichi. Sweetie pie. She's asleep. Just exhausted from crying, I think. Still in shock that Kazukichi is gone. Oh no! Damn it. Sorry, you had to see all that. Yeah. Don't be sorry. This is to be expected when someone loses family. Mm. Yes. Especially since now they've killed him twice. What? Twice? Mm. Yes, see, we had a son named Kazukichi. He was such a kind boy, not the brightest, but he had a huge heart, and that's more important. I remember when the three of us lived in Edo. My life was talk. My wife talked a lot more back then. But ever since our son was slain right in front of us, I just don't know if she's ever truly recovered from the grief. See, one day our son happened to offend Joshi. He always was a naive boy. And ever since he passed away, my wife hasn't been able to talk about anything else. I'm sorry, sir. We were devastated. We got this dog, thinking it would fill the void in our hearts. Even just a little. We named him after our son. Hmm. So that's why the dog has the same name. Yes. There was so much about him that reminded us of our son. His friendly eyes, his affectionate nature, he even had the same yawn. We cared for that pup like he was our dead son. We loved him so, so much. And now, this, it's, it's almost too much. Sir, the whole reason we moved here was I thought some fresh scenery would help heal my wife's heart. I never thought this would happen. But at least you saved our lives. Would you honor me with your name? My name is Saito. I want to thank you properly, Saito-san. We truly owe you a great debt. Double worship talents. If it hadn't been for you, we would not be here to keep our son's memory alive. Yeah. Your loyal dog deserves most of the credit. He held off until I made it here. Let's give thanks to Kazukichi. You're right. He was such a good boy. Just like our son. Uh. Give him the burial he deserves. We will cremate him and bury his bones. 
The only question is, where? We only just moved here. We don't know the lay of the land. Honey, you should be sleeping. What's wrong? Oh, I understand. Kazukichi loved the cherry blossoms. When they were in season, he would run from the tr he would run from tree to tree. So happy. We'd like for him to rest peacefully under a cherry blossom tree. You know if there are any of those nearby, Saito-san? The cherry blossom tree, huh? I don't know of any, but I'll tell you if I find one. I don't mean to burden you, but thank you again for everything. A cherry blossom tree. Wasn't there one in that other spot? I don't remember seeing one in the other districts. <laughs> Literally opposite this place. Or, hold on. What's the one over here? Uh. Why are you like this? There's no tree here. Leave me be. I feel like there are cherry blossom trees around here, but I guess not. Ah, no change yet. Hmm. I'm almost positive I ran near a cherry blossom tree somewhere. Is there one? Am I tripping or is there one in the barracks?
No. Nowhere to be found. Oh. Loki's still looking. Okay. Oh, 
局長は多忙につき不在先ほどからそう申し上げておるなめとんのかボケわしらは京都見回り組や浪人風情が誰に向かって口聞いとるんじゃダメマリグミ佐々木さんキャンキャン泣いてないであんたらも手柄が惜しけら自分たちで汗かけや寝ぼけんなよこら池田屋でカツラ取り逃がしたんが手柄かその責任はどないする言うとるんやうん、と見回り組まだ粘っとるらしいな。見回り組もんの前で騒いとった連中へ。知らんのかあ,あ,あいつらは要するに家柄のいい新選組へ。新選組は浪人の寄せ集めやが。うん、今日と見回り組は、れっきとした幕府の家臣で組織されとる。せから連中新選組にだけは負けたないんで意地の張り合いか大声出してたんが<笑>見回り組の佐々木忠三郎いう男へ大口叩くだけやって腕は立つあんたから見てもかなああいつは相当なもんやお前も気をつけといた方がいい佐々木忠三郎かそれは相当池田屋の傷はもういいのか<笑>お前がおらんかったらあの吉田なんちゃらにやられとったかもしれんこれでも感謝しとる礼を言うのは俺の方だ長久がなあカツラの剣恩に切るそないに気使うんで本音を言えば身内で殺し合いするのがコリゴリなんやうんそれはいつだったかあんたが言っていた芹沢鴨のことかああ何があったんだなぜ局長だった芹沢が身内に殺されるようなことになったあれは俺らがまだ新選組と名乗る前京都に来たばかりで身振るおしずみを名乗っていた頃のことやその頃はまだ俺ら天然理心流の七人と鴨さんの一派三人を合わせた十人だけの小さい所代だった芹沢の一派っていうのは鴨さんの身と脱藩以来の同志やった平間十助平山五郎と鴨さんを合わせた三人のことやその三人が俺ら天然理心流の門と身分老仕組の主導権を争った鴨さんは凄まじく剣の腕が立ち学もある立派な剣士やったせいからまず近藤さんは鴨さんを自分と同格の局長に取り立て組織をまとめようとしたんや土方さんの反対を押し切ってなそれじゃあ土方が芹沢を殺したってことかさあ誰が直接鴨さんに手下したかは知らない近藤藩かもしれんし土方藩かもしれんやがてそれを知る必要はないということ知る必要がないお前も新選組で一日でも長く生きたいんやったら覚えとけ。カモを語るべからず。新選組の暗黙の掟。うんうん。あんたみたいな男がなんで新選組に居続けるんだ俺がここにおるのは近藤局長への恩義。あの人がおらんかったら今の俺はない。昔俺が間違えて人を殺めてしまった時
局長は俺のことを守ってくれたそれから俺は今度局長の夢のために仕事ができればそれでいいそれだけあんたにそこまで言わせるのか今度って男はお前も一度会えばわかる今度イサミという人間の器の大きさがなうん一度会ってみたいもんだな<笑>トンショにも一応近藤さんの部屋があるんやで局長の部屋どこのことだトンショの一番奥の前やせやけど行っても誰もおらんやろうけどな、うん、But maybe I could find some clues それじゃあ,あの近藤勇が父さんまで来て親さんを殺したっていうのかな何をしてるんだいや何でもないおお局長の部屋に入ろうとしてたんじゃないのか無駄だな局長は多忙につき不在だそれじゃあ俺が局長に会うにはどうすりゃいいんだ<笑>向こうから会いに来るのを待つしかないなんなら他のもんにも聞いてみろみんなそう答えるチーフ is unavailable huh? How can I get in contact with Kondo? Maybe there's someone close to him that I can ask for help We can try it. Nanika Yoka Ichido Kyokchoni at the Mitaito Motena Taichoni at the Tayunoni. I sat Sura Dektina at the Gosuru Besuni Doko Surte Hanashianai Kondo Sama Tabona Okatada. My is the Ayru Himokurdaro. もうしばらく機会を待つんだな。いつまで待てばいいんだ。ずいぶん近藤さんに興味があるようだな。それが何か問題あるのか。大ありだ。あの方と気安く会えると考えられては困る。局長は新選組の主君と思え。君も新選組に入った以上はな。分かったらもう行けはいはいはい I suspect as much Playing fucking mahjong. Uh, oh, Kita. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not Is this strip mahjong or something? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
さあな知らんわそんなもんああ気が散るで用が済んだらさっさと行けそれともあれも裸になりてんけいや邪魔したな Nothing. The only other ones I might be able to get something out of would be Inoue or Toto. I'll see them around. No point in hanging around. Let's see what I can find outside. いや。俺まだ局長の顔を見たことがなかったんでな。特に話があるわけじゃない。そうか。なら<笑> <笑>知らねえ名前だ。<笑> で、どうすればいい。坂本龍馬について我々が掴んでいるのは、まず数日前に今日の薩摩判定に現れたこと。薩摩判定。そんなとこに坂本龍馬が何かおかしいか。いや、続けてくれ。それ以前坂本は土
that tree. You have a cherry blossom tree? No. What are you talking about, Uncle Saito? Uh. Haruka, this tree. Is it a cherry blossom tree? Mm. Yes. It's been here for a long time, actually. But it doesn't flower anymore. It's dead. No, really. Mm. Mm hmm. It used to flower when I was little, but I haven't seen a single blossom on it for years. Mm. I see. That's a shame. Mm. Why? Are you interested in gardening all of a sudden? Yes. No. It's just there's this old man who's been looking for a cherry tree. What? Why is he looking for one? Well, you see. So now he and his wife want to bury their dog beneath a cherry tree. That's so sad. What a horrible story. They've lost both their son and their dog. Uh. Yeah. That's why I wanted to do something for them. Well, do you think the one in the garden would work? Yeah. The one in the garden? Yeah. I know it's dead, but I just don't think you're going to find another one where you'll be able to bury bones. Use this one. Let's see, uh, but are you fine with the bones being here, Haruka? <laughs> of course. If it will help the old couple. All right. I'll go ask the old man. You're a kind girl. Ah, thanks. Burial secured. Saito-san, were you able to find a cherry blossom tree? I've given up. I found one. Uh. I have. There's one in my garden, actually. How about we bury him there? Really? Are you fine with that? Uh. Sure. The only unfortunate thing is the tree is dead. So it won't grow flowers anymore. Mm. It's dead? Well, I think it's still okay. <laughs> A tree has a lot in common with Kazukichi. <laughs> it won't bloom in this world, but I'm sure it's covered in blossoms in the next world. <laughs> you just might be right. Let me take you there. Follow me. All right. Let's go, darling. Uh. This should be good. Kazukichi. Thank you. Ash, darling. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's gotten into you? Oh. Well, would you look at that? There's a petal. But I thought this tree was... It's beautiful. Uh, honey, did, did you just 
so small, yet so beautiful. It's been an eternity since I've heard that laugh. You're right, honey. It's gorgeous. The prettiest petal I've ever seen in my entire life. It's as beautiful as your smile, which I don't see enough these days. I'm happy for you both. Thank you. This is more than I could have hoped for. Kazukichi gave this to us. Yes. Kazukichi made the tree, uh, made the tree flower, even if just a little. Maybe it's his way of saying thank you to the both of you. That's what I think, at least. Kazukichi. I love you. Oh, God, I thought we were on the farm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What the hell? Come on now. He was, he was sitting right here. Uh, let me check the diary in Guillaume. Change? Alright. Go bug. Ah, the lucky man with a bento, made with care by his loving wife. The pickles. It's pickles again, my dude. Um, I'm sorry that I made things weird last time. No man would want to introduce his purse's wife to some stranger who's been eating your food. I, sp I spoke without thinking. Please, tell me we can put it behind us. Seems like he's really down about this. Almost makes me think that it might be better for him to know the truth. It was me. Hmm? hmm? Oh, what was that? I made the bento. Hmm? Huh? I, I don't understand. Every bento we've shared... I made them all. It was me. Huh? What? <laughs> so that's the whole story. All this time, you never even had a wife. I'm sorry. You just seem so taken with the dream of a homemade bento. Made with care. By a loving wife. It's all right. I'm so surprised, though. I can't believe you were that concerned about me. Listen, the bento you made. It's undeniable that love and care went into each one. To think you kept making such incredible meals and coming here to share them with me. It's just <laughs> five orders of homemade pickles. <laughs> How do you know I didn't just pity you? I know what pity tastes like, friend. It's not like that. 
What I'm trying to say is, even if one of us is married, I'm okay with it. Huh? Okay with what exactly? I want to show you the same love you showed me. Oh no. What are you trying to say to me? <laughs> that I'm going to cook for you, of course. Oh, okay. Phew. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That's all he was talking about. That's all he was talking about. That's done. So the diary's not updating. Back to Teradea. Wait. They could have. I would have welcomed it. Low, low, I'm back in the crib. Yeah, all right, Bubba, it's bench time. I love you, man. All right, Cupid, thanks for hanging out, bro. I appreciate you. Big ups. おい、待てって。何がどうなってんだ。俺にもわからねえ。だがその坂本龍馬を新選組が探し始めている。お前の耳には何か入ってねえか。もう一人の坂本龍馬のことだ。よし、知るわけねえだろ。知っていたら真っ
イギリスの武器商人とつながってるってならどういうやつにしろ大物だそいつがお前にどう関わってくるのか俺たちは知る必要がある頼んだ用心しろよああうんNo, I didn't know about the other Sakamoto Ryoma. I have to go along with Kondo's plan and talk to Psycho directly at the Satsuma Consulate. Next time. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo. Oh, we made some progress. I'm feeling so close to done with all the side stuff. Uh, that was good. It was a good sesh. <laughs> it was a good sesh. Nice sesh. Uh, big ups to Cupid JPEG for hanging out for for a while. Really appreciate that. And of course, uh, big thanks to all the lurkers. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce. I might be on tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling and my uh whack ass fucked up sleep schedule. Um. But hey, until next time, I was never here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here.